Apologies, I was just kind of eating in silence. Hello, Jinder, how is you? We're like five seconds to ads ending, so. I might run and grab a soda. I really shouldn't. I've had like three cans already today, but. Actually, tell you what. Give me a second. I'm gonna go make myself. Fine, credit card got compromised, but no errant charges. Good. Lock that shit down. Oh, that's fucking terrifying. But super easy just to reverse those charges if they did go through. Oh, I say easy. The bank would have questions. But you can then lock the card down. That's unfortunate, though. Happy you caught it before anything bad happened. Any hoosers. <laughs> oh, 
Also, why getting Ellen was a pet? Oh, fair. Yeah, that would do it. I can feel it. Whoop. Fucking Joker over here hitting some da new dance moves. <laughs> Just rest the controller on my leg, and because I have a third-party controller that's not a Nintendo Switch official controller, it has a, it has actual trigger buttons, and they're pretty sensitive. Oh, the bank locked it down because random charges in the middle of the night from half a country. What? Yeah. Thank you, bank, for keeping keeping my mod's best interests in mind. <laughs> Why? I'm just drinking fucking fluid. <laughs> Why is he gotta try to go down the wrong tube? <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> we got time to use the work desk? We do. Okay. Let's make some more shit. <laughs> also, I forgot for a second that the main character was called Joker. And he just started imagining DC Joker as Joker. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you weren't the first. I only have two silk yarn? I made a couple of, um, lockpicks the other night. Makes them go home. We'll make two. Good stuff. We do want higher proficiency. Well, then. we'll also have to buy some more silk thread. It's Sunday! What is this line for? Oh, that exhibition must be opening today. It's like packed. We'll come back another time. Want it, but it's so pricey. I should take out a loan. What? Famous artist exhibition. It'll do that. It'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? To say the least, no pets allowed. You came. Hey, Matt. I mean, Yusuke. Um, yeah. You really came. Wipe the delivery while looking at Ryuji. Also, what about me? you expect when you left us those tickets <laughs> that we wouldn't use them make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors god i just want i just want mm. <laughs> to punch your lovable face come now i'll show you around i'd like to speak more about the picture i'd like to draw too well see you guys later be safe on Will Lady Hun be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? Will you calm the fuck down? I told you not to come out. Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? No! <clears throat> Pretty sure you've already covered who Yosuke is. And? Yes, he is voiced by Matt Mercer. Let's learn about this Madarame character, dude. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. A quick pass? <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just dying because my windpipe is angry that liquid tried to go down it. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? <laughs> it's an art exhibit. There is no way you're supposed to start. Hmm? Technically. It's that old man from the other day. Oh yeah, the one in the car. I'm like, when? Oh, all right. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. There goes my remote. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe <laughs> that it all stems from one person. It's because 
It doesn't. What? I mean, I don't know that. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. Because you're a hack! Also, could you imagine this plotline being released? Like, in this day and age, motherfuckers just using AI-generated art? They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Right, right. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. You know what I hate about what he's saying? He's full of shit, but he's not entirely full of shit. Pretty sure in Japan, everyone's supposed to go around in the same direction. Fair would not know that. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A modest shack, you say? A shack? No, show you, Ryuji. Shut the fuck up. I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. <laughs> Lady, why why are you giving him words? Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame-san is actually here? Uh-oh. I'm so glad I came on opening day. Hey, stop pushing. There's way too many people. I'm getting crushed. Well, we better skedaddle. Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, all right? Oh, chocolate chip, butter cake, blossom strawberry cookie. I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. M&M's. Oh, it's very basic. Right. New York cheesecake sounds good. Anyway, sorry, getting distracted by cookies. <laughs> <laughs> he has some points in bullshitting. Yeah, he does have some points in charisma and deception. Types of Japanese art. I mean, yeah. Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, since he creates all this by himself, he's special. There you are, Yusuke. How the fuck did you get away, Sensei? Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Uh-oh. Well then, if you'll excuse me. You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. But he seems really friendly. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. In this day and age of the internet, like, I've learned, or at least have seemingly learned, that everybody on, like, who does anything is not really hard to approach. There are some incredibly skilled people out there, and they, they're all friendly, for the most part. Some of them are assholes, sure, but, like, people are people. They're not difficult to approach. That said, I will totally be starstruck if I ever met somebody like Matt Mercer, probably. If I'm not, then I took my own advice to heart. That said, I know for a fact if I meet someone that I really, really appreciate, like I would be like, oh my god. Also masking, also masking. Indeed. Oh, this is it. The painting I wanted to see in person. This one? I guess it's the painter's anger. I'm not sure, but I sense this. Strong frustration from it. Han's got a keen eye. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. 
Mm. Oh. Something wrong? I know too much. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. Hey! <laughs> Weird! Why are you making On skip that one? Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. Aren't you supposed to be like the muscle on our team, dude? Thanks to that, I remember now. About what? Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? Sorry. You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... <laughs> kind of, yeah. yeah. Anyways, you gotta look at this too. Dude, I was trying to look at it, but you're on the fucking floor. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Well, it's anonymous, but who the fuck would know that? Plagiarizing? I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, huh? Hmm. If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. Yeah, that's the thing. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. Possibly. A man like that doing such a thing? We'll have to investigate. See if we got ourselves a I new target. I ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. Mmm. About that. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with mementos? Yeah. Besides, if we make a move out in the open. There's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh. Yeah. Right. It's all anonymous. But... Messengers still leave from, don't they? Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Does. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? It is. We need to investigate a little more. Well, yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what <laughs> do you have a tech expert? Modeling thing? Uh, no, but we know the guy who admins the site. <laughs> Kun gave me his contact info. Cool. And the address to his sensei's atelier. All right. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Uh, why we? <laughs> Wouldn't it feasibly be possible to send on alone to do some recon? Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? Well, oh, okay, fair. What about your plans and your schedule? This is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, right. Modeling for an artist. Right, that means you're gonna have to get naked. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> right, Ryuji is a bit stupid. Just a little. Okay. Aw, man, my Sunday! In any case, we need to find out if that rumor about Madarame is true. If it is, this might just be exactly what we needed. Well, then. That reminds me, the home shopping program's airing today. Want to check out the TV? Fine.
We probably want to check out our informant too, see if there's anything else in mementos. Blah! Sorry, Dad sent me a text. All right, allergy relief pack. Calming mask and wide eye drops. The cosmetic cure gift. Aroma machine, omnivitamin. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna buy the cosmetic cure gift. Allergy relief pack it is. Good stuff. Hey. If you're asking for allowance, the answer is no. If you want money, earn it yourself. But coffee, Dad. I'll bring some coffee. Make sure you close up. I'm heading home for the day. It's good you've really taken a shine to this stuff. Dad ain't harassing us about it being too bland. When do we get our test results back? <laughs> okay, let's get started. Hey there, I'm Dr. Maruki, your school counselor. Thanks to the school, I can even talk to you outside of counseling now. I want to talk a little bit about how mental health and perception can affect you. Don't worry, I don't want to stress you out or anything. Just relax and listen. How much do you guys know about the emotional mind? So... See, what's going on in your mind can affect your body pretty significantly. There's proof it can even heal you, depending on your outlook. So, uh, I'll, I'll off some coon. Any ideas? What do we call the phenomenon where believing in a treatment's power is enough to improve your condition? Uh... I mean, that would be the placebo effect. This is it. That's right. Yep, that's correct. Some people specify that placebos don't actually have any curative properties. But even if the medicine does nothing chemically, it can affect your perception and help you feel better. On the other hand, if you don't trust the medicine to begin with, it might make you feel even worse. We call that a nocebo. Maybe I should ask if I can borrow his note. Oh, shit! People in the school are like, wow, he's smart. Granted, that that was low-key me in school, too. Like, I was that kid in math class that never really seemed to struggle, and every time a teacher asked me questions, I was the one that could fucking answer them. <laughs> like, I, I just intentionally didn't really answer questions because I didn't want to. <laughs> That's just one example, but my point is, is that our minds and bodies are more connected than we think. So it's important not to push yourself too hard. Remember, your mind needs time to rest too. And it's my job to help with that, so come by the nurse's office whenever you're feeling down. Mm. Mind affects the body, huh? Think I'll change back into a human if I just believe in it hard enough? Look, man, I don't fucking know, maybe? Panorama exhibit is great. You gotta go see it. I'm feeling pretty down lately. Maybe you should go to the counseling. That art could be so explosive. Have you been to counseling yet? Huh? The Panorama exhibit, huh? What is it until? Pan thieves going by train. <laughs> this ain't any different from how I get home from school, you know. Dude, shut the fuck up. The train is the <sighs> fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. We... we can? Hey, 
Hey, who are you calling a pet? Literally everyone here. Well, okay, no, you. We're calling you a pet. Dude, be quiet. We didn't pay the pet fare. <laughs> and whose idea was that? Ryuji? I said I could pay it. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Oh, Kitty. Oh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. Um, I mean, you're imagining things. But I see its head popping out of your bag. Isn't that a kitty? It's, um, a toy. It meows when you press on its head. Good save, Alan. You heard her. Press on its head. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Morgana, like, I hate the. Again, again. <laughs> Time to button. <laughs> I'm not mean to Morgana. I'll, I'll press gently. <laughs> Oops. That's drooling. Hey, <laughs> I don't have a problem with it. The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya, doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. Well, see you later. Bye bye. Mm hmm. Bye bye. So, we're hoping that she doesn't end up in any labyrinths of refrain, right? So, which line do we got to transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. What? And we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? Uh, uh many, probably. Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist. Looks like the fastest route is to get to the station square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. Got it. This is the access way. This is the wrong way. Look! This is an RPG! I have party members that follow me. And then we gotta get to Central Street. Wait. Um. Supposed to be a residential area past Central Street. We'll have to walk a bit though, okay? Let's get going. Suguru Kamashita, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? Human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. <sighs> Shujin Academy seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it, just in case. Is that it? That certainly fits the description of a shack. But it is also two stories. And has several rooms. It's basically a manor. We're at the right address. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? Probably not. No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently. Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. <laughs> oh my god, cute girl! People really do live here. Takamaki, sir. You two are here as well? Hey, Matt Mercer, don't give me that tone of voice. Hey, 
<laughs> With the fucking shitty grin. Sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Madarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, Ryuji, are you serious? Sorry to throw you under the bus, but like, I need a cover. We read about it online. This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He welcomes pupils into his own home. This is no act of violence, it is charity. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. Hey, 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 Ryuji. That... Oh? That is utter rubbish. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day. Oh? You really think that? Yusuke. What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, mm. I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Mm. Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work. As well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? Appearances can be deceiving. Maybe the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Mm. Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh. Hey, the app. Was it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Madarame has a palace, too, right? But why? Madarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? It seems the metaverse knows more than we do. Does an old man like him really have a palace? Again, appearances can be deceiving, and with age comes wisdom and a well-constructed mask. We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the shack for to enter his palace. You mean like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? Yeah. That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden though. And? Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? 
Dude. Ah, what a pain. Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well at farm. What the fuck? What? How, how do you see the guidance counseling office? Should we come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? A museum. Like a gallery. Ah! Forgetting navigation? Whoa, really? When did you activate the nav? You surprised me. It just sort of does that. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? I'm sorry? Probably would have figured it out once he started walking on two legs. Yuji does have a point. <sighs> so even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yes. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that. Look. Yeah, the shack doesn't look like a shack no more. Seriously, some kind of museum? Let's go check it out. It's so extravagant to the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? I think so. This is Matarame's? Well, a palace is a world formed by a mind twisted by desire. Remember Kamoshida's castle? Yeah. Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? Well, I would look at it this way. What if a king wants a bigger castle? You got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? Yes, thank you, Ryuji, for pointing out the obvious. Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. Now we're not we're not getting in through the front. Yes. Well then, it's time we begin our infiltration. Uh, are we gonna have to wait in that gigantic line? <sighs> Don't be stupid. We're not going in the front door. There's a high wall around the building. Shall we go? Just have to find our way up over it then. In any case, let's get going. Up over, huh? Benny. Yep. This is really how he thinks of that rundown shack? It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's not just it's just not hitting me that It's just not hitting me that this is that old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. Technically, we're in. See it. Ooh, almost missed that. A sooty kettle. A crappy portrait. For sure, the guy who runs the airsoft store will buy this. Fine washi. See a reason to go down there. Also, these guys seem alarmingly strong. Hey, hey. Hey. Oh, the skylight's open. I think we can get in here. That's a pretty far drop. Be able to get back out this way? Now's my time to shine. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a rope. I'm our tool specialist after all. 
So, what's your call, Joker? Wanna head in? Let's do this. How suspicious. It's quiet in here. Most eerily so. Oh. Hey! This... It's moving. Come on, we're in a palace. That ain't anything to be freaking out over. Mm. Mm. This is... Palace reflects its rulers hard. May want to check these paintings out. Odd that they're moving is the thing. Hmm? Oh, hey! Some kind of explanation here. Let me see. Someone's name and age? What the hell? Can't be the title of the painting, right? Think it's the artist's name? Hmm. Let's check the other paintings, too. I think there might be something important about them. I have something. I uh, really shouldn't do this inside the museum. A plastic frame. Cool. <laughs> Worth millions of yen. Surely. Hey. Curious about the other paintings, too. Come on, let's look in the next room. Hey, don't they look? Maybe not. Oh god. Um, I can feel shadow. Shadow. He's in place. Guess who? Luigi. No. It is a Sonic character. Silver? Nope. Maria. Oh good. I bet. In the heck? Hey, this doesn't make any sense. Madarame is famous for having a variety of art styles. But all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the... Wait a sec. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the, the one who was shit-talking Madarame? Yeah, we can actually see his face a little clearer. Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? And more important, why is his name written under it? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. All right, let's keep looking around for now. I really don't think it's that mysterious. The plagiarism thing is true. Focus. Wait. Hey, shouldn't we avoid touching stuff we don't need to? Yes. Huh? What? No way. Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? Yusuke? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Madarame's pupils. I think you're right. For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nakanohara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. All right, let's keep investigating. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Well, I, I, I think just something to, you know, make it concrete at this point. Fine. Focus. Treasure. Some sort of brochure here. What, you find something? We're here to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. Azure. Fine. <laughs> Azure. Locked. Made some lock picks. Mine. A lunar cutlass. Oh, this beauty looks like it's just my size. This is mine now, all right? Yep. <laughs> now I'm even more of a threat. Better be. Is 
this a pamphlet? It's getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why bother making something like this? He didn't do it by choice. Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice. That is a possibility. At the very least, it should be good reference for the scale of this place. Huh? The map only shows half the museum. It says it's one out of two. <sighs> well, the two out of two's just gotta be around here somewhere, right? How big is this place? You can worry about that another time. Right now, our objective is confirming Matarame's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. <laughs> I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty sketched to me. Honestly, that'd be enough for me. Jeez, dude's kind of full of himself, isn't he? Yeah, there's a reason I've been ignoring these Persona 5 streams. Usually I can only experience an RPG like this once. It's exhausting to go through it again. I feel that. You good, Bogey. How is you since I got you here? Pearl. That's neat. The wall's on fire, kind of. Joker. Check around this room a little closer. It's somewhere. The giant sculpture? Ah. Look at this. The infinite spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Matarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Still a good game. Next time I should wait for the re-release for Persona gets to 6 gets a re-release. Because it will get... <laughs> Jeez. Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Yes, on. Er, I'm sorry, Panther. What a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Matarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools. Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up. He does, though. He's indebted to the man if he, like, took him in and raised him. He did say that he owes Matarame his life for being taken in. But still. When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Matarame? Hey, I can't make this decision alone. What do you all think? We should confirm these facts with Yusuke first. Another thing, Atlas re-releases a game with the extra features as an additional game on top of game. Like Shin Megami Tensei Vengeance. I mean, yeah, but that's what Royal is. Persona 5 Royal. That's the re-release. Yeah. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Matarame yet. True. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Maybe. Wait, you're gonna do that? Hey, it's a card we got. You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. Thanks, hey. renowned artist, huh? Oh, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Dude, Kamoshida is like an Olympian, Olympic athlete. Well, 
we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real phantom thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. High confidence. Reason why Yusuke's hiding the truth, huh? Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Kitagawa kun, Matarame isn't a problem. Something wrong? Yeah, a little. I mean, I know Matarame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Off. Persona 6 is gonna flood the streams, I bet. Yeah, it will. Yeah, I guess that part's totally different from what happened with Kamashida. Might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. So we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Madarame is worth going after or not? I don't know. Fear me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Can you ask Yusuke on? KK, got it. Guess we can talk some more after this, about this after that. Okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Hey. Hey, another box came for you. Hmm. Fine. Hmm. Well, fine! Well, Hang on, is the plant okay? Hey, hey. That's why I checked! Oh. We're gonna use that one? I just really care about this plant. Okay. What's up, Ryuji? I just can't forgive Madarame, but what Aunt said made me think. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? I mean, probably. <sighs> I knew it. It ain't like she thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Well, why does it piss you off, Ryuji? Hey, don't go all psycho- like, psychoanalyzing me now! have to put up with so much crap while, while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I, I'm not wrong, am I? You're right. Thanks. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Uh, seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Immediately starts texting. Hey, on. <laughs> <laughs> so Ryuji called. Told me not to tell you, but I'm a rebel and I do what I want. I'm telling you anyway. All right, I contacted Kitagawa kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. No idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Uh, you kind of don't do anything. You know, in a way, you might just be right. <laughs> Look, you don't gotta go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get a dirt on Matarame, remember? That is true. It's not like Kitagawa kun wants this to be a private picture of his, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. I got a response from Kitagawa kun He said he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. Probably dropped all his plans just to get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Mm. She got hold of Mishima today. And it'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, I'll split up. Okay, see you later.
I'm like, you, you can stick with me, it'd be fine. Big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, Han's late. Sorry, I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. What were you thinking about? Thinking about what? Ads in about five. Don't you think Kitagawa kun has to be protecting Matarame? I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Matarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is that Matarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Oh, Ryuji. Something seemed different about her to you? Not at all. I don't know. I feel like she's got more makeup on or something. Nope, I'm the same as always. Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Once he finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Matarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Sorry. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Hey, yo? Wanna check your phrasing? Or like... Did you just drop us a hint? Is there a problem? No, not really. <laughs> Even I'm picked up on it. What about you, Ryuji? Why are you looking at me with those dead? You know what? Never mind. Well then, let's get started. Hey, Kitagawa-kun. He's focusing. Let him draw. Hmm. You hear her? Ryuji, shut your fucking gob. Hmm. It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Who's in the zone? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Don't get caught. Huh. Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Are you done? No, that's not the dejected sigh of someone who's done. It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? Ryuji! That was on us, dude. I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. <laughs> yeah, it's a fine way to start with them. Let's just... Let's just... Just, you know, about those rumors regarding your sensei. Yeah, open exactly like that, Ryuji. Zero problems whatsoever in doing that. Anyway, ads are going to hit us here soon, so we are going to leave it at that for a moment. Let's take a break. Get up, stretch, do what you got to do in order to stay as healthy as you can be. Otherwise, don't go anywhere. We'll be back with a more Persona 5 Royal. I'll see you guys in a bit.
When did the ads end? I'm back. Let's get back into it. This again. Yes, this again, Matt Mercer. In that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... Ooh, ooh! On seemed to hit a nerve. I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. Fuji, let On talk. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. And that would explain why Sensei could master so many styles of art, indeed. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still. <sighs> Kitago kun Then why are you sticking around? For you, G. All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. Are you okay with this? I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? I'm not saying that that's wrong. I'm asking if you're okay with it. Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Am I? Hold it! We're not done talking here! Ryuji! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. <laughs> also, it might not be theft, but it's still plagiarism. What Indeed. F, man? Yuji, stop it! Thank you, Juan. Okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. Let on be your model, right? What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. Today! That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me. Praising? I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever. Phrasing. Phrase. Nope. Nope. He, he, he's being serious. What? Yeah. The, what? What do you think an art model is, Ryuji? Nude? On, what do you think an art model is? Uh. To think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. In before that he sees her nipples, it's just like, hmm, not perfect. Leave my sight. <laughs> of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. Totally left my head. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some inconveniences. Nude, meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? Because those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? What? What do you mean? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Good question! Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. Evening rescue! What's up? No, no, How no. Is you? We are not done talking here! 
Do you not on do you not consent? We don't we don't have to We don't have to let you do that. He can report us. And like the police can do something about it. Oh well, I guess that'd be real inconvenient for me. Hey. What should we do? Fuck. I don't know, dude. Yeah. Damn it. He got us good this time. I don't think he got us good, but I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. If on doesn't do this. Is she done being a model? For the day. A cat? You moron. He's totally out of his mind. I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up. How dare that, Yusuke. Well, both of you calm down. The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi but full on nude. Yeah. As an art model is wont to do. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna. And I think Morgana's out of it. Divine Dynamo Flam Frit released November 14th on Steam, 21st on Switch. Interdusting. Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. That's true. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Yes? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? I am not! <laughs> Gosh, remember when that game was trailered as an April Fool's joke? Divine Dynamo Flamfrit? It was? Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. That's true. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself with Kamoshida. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. That's one vote for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Right. Two for four. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. True. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Ryuji! Not necessarily. Oh, yeah. It might not show your face. That's not what I meant! That doesn't make me feel any better about it. We must deal with Madarame, no matter what before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Indeed. Your hideout has moved from the Shujin Academy rooftop to the Shibuya Tiki... Bleh. Take you building access way. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Um, sure. Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. What the fuck are you implying? Uh. Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. May I inquire why? There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. What? But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? Ryuji knows. Me? I don't know nothing. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. Hmm. 
I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? Sure thing. See you then. I guess we should go home for today. <sighs> Whatever. Still can't forgive him. Demanding to paint Lady on nude, then claiming to report us to the police. Hey, it's me. Got a minute? Sure. I have some interesting news. Go ahead. Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Oh? Said he wants to meet with you to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Another You're change of heart. In person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person and that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakanohara. Oh! Nakanohara. That's Matarame's student. Sure is. I told him to approach you. Good luck. I found out something insane about Matarame. It sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Matarame stealing his work. Dude, that's unforgivable. The journalist was looking into Matarame too. It could be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it. Bet it was covered up. Find Dynamo Flame for it reminds me of Zelda mixed with Magic Knight's Ray Earth. Wolf, that one, that title. I only know about it because of my ass watching Proton John streams. Excuse me. I wonder if Kitagawa kun has heard anything. Great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably gonna be on edge about us. Well, anyway, Matarame's still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. It's that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true. There have to be other victims. Indeed. Hey. All sorts of people gather in the big city. Crooks are everywhere. Still can't help the old man. Hey. Motherfucker! Room coffee. Hey. Make sure you close up. Don't forget, day, from today on, our hideout's going to be at the Shibuya Passageway. That reminds me, Nishima said Nakanohara should be in Shibuya too. Yo! We're about to head to the hideout too. Who's that? Excuse me. That's Nakanohara. Nishima told us to meet him here in Shibuya today. For real? My name is Nakanohara, Natsuiko Nakanohara, the one who was posted about on the Phantom Aficionado website. He seems pretty nice. Doesn't seem like the stalker type. Well, he did have a change of heart. And also, I hate to be the bearer of bad news on, but stalkers can be nice people. That doesn't change the fact that they're stalkers. I think the change of heart must have worked. The administrator of that website contacted me. That, yeah, see, the admin. They told me to look for someone in a Shujin uniform with a cat. Weird. So, what do you want? You may have already heard, but there's someone I wish to trigger a change of heart in. Go on. An artist by the name of Matarame. <gasps> you think this is it? Is the pupil gonna confess his master's secrets? Ryuji, shut the fuck up. His shadow did mention Matarame as well. Ah, shut the fuck up! 
I'm one of Madarame's former pupils. Oh, go on. He gave me lodging at his home, where I thought only about art. I genuinely wanted to be an artist. There was another pupil as well, a very talented man, multiple years my senior. Obviously, Madarame kept tabs on him. Everything he made was claimed as a Madarame original. He wasn't the only victim, though. Right. We got some real proof of the plagiarism. Well, word of mouth. In response to Madarame's actions, that senior pupil committed suicide. Suicide? He must have been unable to bear seeing his work praised under Madarame's name. That was when I disobeyed Madarame's orders and left. But he quickly pressured other parts of the art world, and my life as a painter was destroyed. I tried to turn over a new leaf working at a ward office, but it was no use. My attachment to art warped my emotions. Soon I began getting attached to everything. In the end, I even turned into a stalker. <laughs> well, I appreciate your candidness about it, but like... You got, did you apologize to the person you were stalking, maybe? I'd like to ask again. Please, make Madarame have a change of heart. Not only for me, it's to save the life of another man as well. Go on. What do you mean? Even now, there's still one young man remaining under Madarame's tutelage. I think he's about your age. That has to be Yusuke. Indeed. Not only is he a talented artist, he also owes Madarame for taking him in after his mother passed. He is the perfect target. So Yusuke's got no choice but to listen. I actually spoke to him a few times back when I was still living at Madarame's. I asked him if he found it painful to stay with Madarame. And you know what he said? If I could leave, I would. Kitagawa-kun. I have no right to say this given my prior cowardice. But I don't want to see another suicide. I'd like to find a way to save this young man. He has a bright future ahead of him. Please consider that when thinking about changing Madarame's heart. Mm. We've been asked to act directly on behalf of one of Madarame's victims. It sounds like we don't have the time to deliberate whether or not to change Madarame's heart. Yeah, no. Let's save Yusuke. Hell yeah! Madarame's just a piece of shit who preys on the weak. Suicide. I'll never let something like that happen. Plus, we finally got to hear how Kitagawa-kun really feels. Granted, through someone else's mouth, but I would say a trustworthy source. Well, since we've reached a unanimous decision, how about we continue this at our new hideout? Agreed. My fellow Thebes, welcome to our new hideout. Not much of a hideout, but yeah. Our target this time is Madarame. We all saw that palace. We'll pay dearly if we assume it's just going to be like the last one. And furthermore, Lady An's chastity is on the line. What? No, it fucking isn't. What? We'll need to do what we did with Kamoshida. First, we secure an infiltration route in the palace. After that, we send our calling card. Once the treasure has materialized, we steal it. Oh, oh, I got a question. Uh, Madarame doesn't know that we were doing stuff in the palace yet. Why are we already getting treated like criminals in there? I mean... You're learning, Ryuji. Well done. It must be because he doesn't trust anyone. Any unknown person may as well be an enemy. That checks. Or maybe he's just super salty from all those rumors that have been spreading about him. That could be. Then his palace being so crazy had nothing to do with us? Either way, we should stay on our best behavior. It'll be harder for us to steal the treasure if we needlessly increase the security level. Indeed. We need to be careful of Kitagawa-kun this time, too. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that whatever he sees will just get passed on to Madarame. That's right. Hey, what is Madarame's treasure going to look like anyway? Another crown? Considering it's a museum, it might be a painting. 
I doubt that. But my sixth sense will know when I see it. Oh yeah, you go completely nuts, huh? Our time limit is when the exhibit ends, right? That means June 5th. Got a little under a month here. We'll carry out the plan after we've sent out the calling card. So our infiltration route will need to be set in stone two days prior on June 2nd. Now listen here. We can't mess this up, no matter what, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah. As Morgana would put it, your chastity's on the line. It's the first job for Strikeheart, so let's make sure we do it right. Come on, it's time to get this mission started. Your mission to change Madarame's heart has begun. You must steal his treasure by the deadline. We have 18 days. Mission start. Special obstacles in palaces. Occasionally you'll encounter palace obstacles that are impassable and require interacting with the target in the real world. You will need to leave the palace to find the obstruction. Enter palaces quickly to find obstacles and triumph over challenges before the deadline. Ooh. Let's save. And... Ooh, review requests. Oh, well... <laughs> Let's infiltrate the palace. We, we need to get in there and start figuring shit out now. We don't... Like how strong enemies are in there, or how strong enemies are in there, rather, or how far we can get along before we're just like shut out. We could run into some problems. We need to get intel. All right, I'm gonna bust loose. Monorame's palace. Now then. Sure you already know this, but the first thing we need to do is secure an infiltration route. Then we send the calling card. Yeah, yeah, we know the drill. Anyways, let's get ready. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Igor wants a word. We've much to discuss. Could my phone stop getting messages? Mm -hmm. What's up, spooky man? So, you've come. Your rehabilitation seems to be going smoothly. Yeah, thanks to you. Excellent. I expect no less. I've prepared a special gift for you. I must reward your exemplary conduct. Use this power well. Great! Every persona has a specific trait, each of which has a different effect. Some may decrease the cost of a skill or increase the power of a specific attribute. There are various benefits associated with using a persona's trait in battle. Be sure to take into account which actions will best utilize the trait. You can view the details of a persona's trait in the persona status screen by pressing Y. <laughs> Our master is extending incredible kindness. Shed tears of joy, inmate. <laughs> Your personas are born from the masks of your heart. They come in all manner of shapes and sizes. You must master the inner workings of each persona to draw out its power. Do that, and they will surely be of great use to you on your journey to rehabilitation. Then... If you have other business, you may tend to it now. <laughs> Time for some less execution. I don't think we have any. Oh, right, we have Arsene because we want EXP for Arsene. We're only level 14, so it's like not a whole lot we can do right now. Skillful, com skillful combo increases damage after a baton pass. Electric Bloodline. Decreases SP cost of elect skills in half. After a baton pass, allows use of skills only available when surrounded. 
Inch Anchor. Increases chance of inflicting freeze during one more. Strengthens physical skills by 20%. Strengthens magic skills, targeting one foe by 20%. Damage after a baton pass. Interesting, interesting, interesting. You change your mind? Done already? What? Yeah, I want to go back. It is time, inmate. Good old Igor. Joker! Come on. What are you standing around for? Get with the program, alright? You're a vital member of the team here. A little bit more than vital, but you know. It's somewhere. This guy evades security. And we're in. Start this pro- oh. Focus. Ooh. Whoa. Hold on, Joker! It's an infrared laser device. If we touch it, security will increase. On, man. Hold on. There wasn't anything like this last time, though. The rumors might slowly be making Madarame become more wary of us. Joker, they're not easy to see, but you should be able to do it with your skills. Be careful. You can detect infrared lasers with third eye. If there's a wide enough gap, you can slip through by pressing A. You can, this can also be done by holding A as you approach. But remember, you can only pass through if there's enough room. Yeah. So yeah, like we couldn't slip through that one. Hello. I'll reveal your true form. You're actually blue, so what enemy are you? Hey! Night walking warrior. Speak to wind. Don't move. Lend me your power. That's the case. Let's talk. I don't know what kind of this person you are. Don't say anything too forceful. Would you please? I mean, I need your help. Oh, you leave me alone. I forgot to mention this, but I'm all connected. I mean. Complicated? I see. I am thou. Thou art I. We got Mokoi! Persona taken. You've got a new mask, Joker. What can I say? I'm like a fucking Pokemon trainer. Alright. Only a little terrifying. Just jump in front of him. Nothing happens. What? Girl of the Hanging Tree? Nah, nah, nah. Let's talk. Something like that with you anyway. It won't? Really? Oh, right. Way better girl than those idols. Uh, huh? <laughs> oh, 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 thanks, on. <laughs>
I mean... They're irritable. This is hard. You tell. God damn it. Now's the time to retreat. Thanks, On. I fucked up. Interesting. All right. Focus. Well, normal fight. There's a dangerous one in there. Actually, know their weakness. Do they have any other weaknesses? Nope. Sure. Probably need to lower that one's HP more if I can even recruit it because it's an exploding type. Hey, all out attack. Got a Molotov cocktail. Arsene is level three. A new move? Awesome. We got Cleave. Arson got a really good level too. All right. Good work. Keep it up. Focus. Oh, interesting. That acts like a wall. <laughs> Show me your true form. Ooh, hello. The first move is ours. Waterside nymph. Lightning. Let me your power. Just look at it. Is that calming its nerves? Do you have time? Nope. I'm not special. Really? Apsaras. Level 11. Woo! Woo, look at that! Internal. Increased effect period of support skills cast on self by one turn. Gloomy child. Rain, snow, pollen, warning, always in effect. What? Yeah, get out of here, Mokoi. All right. See if I can't find a safe. The only way through that one. Then a little bit easier to get in and out. Do want to hit up the velvet room really quick. Mostly just confirm do I have McCoy? Because McCoy got like put into my repertoire and if not then I know what I need to do in order to make sure that happens I have 
because we're learning. Oh, come on. I broke that the first trip in. Do you need something? I know. Screw me and my menuing. But I gotta know. It's an RPG, man. You must surely be accustomed to infiltrating palaces by now. Somewhat. Regardless, you have yet to obtain a truly acceptable number of personas. This is not the full potential of the power of the wild card. I suppose this is a prime opportunity to help further your rehabilitation along. Don't worry. This assignment is not mandatory. Think of it almost as a test of strength. Okay, what's what's this assignment? No. We will have to bring it. We will have you bring us the mask we specify. Huh. You just gotta show us the persona we ask for. First off, we would like for you to bring us a Jack Frost. <sighs> That's too easy, Justine. It should be a challenge. Hmm. I want to have Mabufu have too. You got that inmate? Bring us a Jack Frost with Mabufu. Very well. Very well. We ask for you for. We ask for a Jack Frost with Mabufu. Please speak to us again when you have it. This will not be mandatory for your rehabilitation, but you'll be handsomely rewarded for mm -hmm. it. I encourage you to at least try your hand at this. You certainly seem good. The oh, nope. mind, Justine. You handled right here. Check the registry. Are you sure? Are you sure? Read All right. here. Let's check. Turn only. Hey, look, there's McCoy. This person who lack patience. There's Upsaris. Get Orpheus. What you want? <laughs> I'm not getting a free one. What? I'm I'm being told by my partner that they're being trapped. And SOS. One moment. The situation has been resolved. The Kato was trying to trap my partner in on their bed. Are you finished? What? Sitting in my partner's arm joint area. <laughs> Armpit. Done already? What? No slacking off. There for 20 minutes. Jeez. Now I'm sore now. I'm sorry, babe. There's a whole cat. <laughs> Neo Cadenza is kind of scary. Masu Kukaja plus Mideorama at level 11 at a discount. Woof. Yeah, no. Down sounds it. All right, but now confirmed. Persona just has to be in my inventory of personas to count towards my... Persona decks. Right, back in. They are of our level, interestingly. First time you get a persona is registered in the compendium. All right. The first move is ours. This one's weak to electricity. Electricity and fire. Okay. 
We want our healers to have more SP. Just in case. All out attack. We have both of these ones. Uh oh. <laughs> Just press X before the menu even popped up. Damn. Hold up. Arsene is now level four. New skill. Secunda. Next is Dream Needle. Oh, Arsene has more magic. All right. That's all it takes for me. What? Let's not mention it. We'll be in unknown territory once we go past here, right? Security will probably get a little more fierce as well. Make sure you don't touch anything or run any of the displays, all right? What are you looking at me for? Touching it! <laughs> Morgana, Joker, no! <laughs> And the only reason why I need to, like, confirm that is the first time we got Angel, I didn't save Angel in, like, my Persona decks and cleared them immediately. And they, or my, you know, Persona inventory, and I didn't get them in my decks. Okay, well, whole day. Hey! new safe room. You can now quick travel to the first exhibition room. <sighs> Looks like we got some infrared sensors around here. Guess the museum would have pretty tight security. Yeah, to say the least. Well. How is everyone? I can totally keep going. Looks like everything, everyone else is good, too. Everyone still seems energetic. You can keep exploring if you're feeling up to it. Let's just keep going. Okay, let's go. Ready? I mostly wanted to, like, you know, talk to the team real quick. There's a shadow. What do we do? I'll tell you what we do. Show me your true form. We fight them. Uh, All right. the first move is our. Rooftop Lions. They're level 15. I cannot acquire these Persona. That is the first enemy that's been above my level so far. Burn. Let's go. Wait. They're weak to curse? Looking cool, Joker. Well, I can't recruit these ones. Let's go. Yet. Arsen is level five. Huh? 
increases critical rate when surrounded. Ooh, adverse res Ooh, ooh. Two more levels then. Okay. Shadow defeated. See Let's it. go, Joker. Uh oh. Uh, there's a dangerous one up ahead. See him. Don't ask how you don't see me. Adverse yeah. resolve is actually fairly <laughs> shit. Most goes being surrounded also means enemy gets a first strike. Yeah, but it combos well with Arsene's skill. So if you are in the midst of a baton pass, you get increased critical strike. That's why it's important. That's why I want to like take note of it personally. Focus. Hello. Treasure chest spotted. Let's open it. Multiple treasure chests in here. It hasn't spotted. I'll reveal oh. your truth. <laughs> hey, leafy old man. Right. Let me your power, man. Just look at it. Try calming its nerves. Earth map for bad. What's your deal, anyhow? I got bad luck. Okay. Koro Pok Koro Pokuru. odor. Oh. That's Bufu and learn dodge ice weak to fire. Small human-like creatures that have kind, calm personalities. Once coexisting with the Ainu people of Japan, there was a falling out at some point, and they disappeared. Not really interested in Obadion, so we'll replace Obadion. Keep those in my inventory that I'm interested in using for fusion or training up like Arsene. All right. I can feel it. All right. Oh. Oh, being a bit jumpy and. Treasure chest. I have to go back over there. Atom ring. This guy again. There's a strong shadow ahead. We should be careful. Being careful, Morgana. <laughs> well, I was. They're gone. Why? Fire Magatama. I'm careful, huh? Shush you. <laughs> I 
Five minutes to ad break. A bit easier to navigate through there. if you try to use a payphone inside like somebody's palace who do you contact I can feel it Thick parchment seem like we'd be able to get in there damn it it ain't opening makes sense it is security Yes. Mm, look at that luster. Morgana. I know it might be tough to take with us, but don't you think it'd sell for tons? Come on, we didn't come here to. Wait, hold on, you're stepping on something. Isn't this bad? Calm down. Oh no, I tripped the security. Ah, uh, you were the one making us be careful too. So, what do you want to do? Run out of here? That would be a mistake. No, passing through all of these lasers will draw far too many enemies to our location. Oh, hold on! Joker's not trapped! Sorry, Joker, but we're going to need you to search for a way to turn off these infrared lasers. This is a museum, so there has to be some switch to let the workers avoid these lasers. Find it. Jeez. Good, I'm on my own for a second, eh? Focus. If I'm alone, it actually would be better to avoid combat then. Guys, going at the moment. Hope there are no intruders. Please, no. Walking in a weird cycle, though. <sighs> Seems to be some kind of button here. I should press it. Looks like Panther was able to get out. Seriously, thank Thanks. You. Now I need to get Skull and Mona out. tracking of me. You know how we're gonna get Skull out, probably. You kidding me? Thank you, Alarm. In 23 seconds, press the button, meet up with Skull. Then we'll go on break. We'll go on break, because apparently I didn't hit the button. Oh well. Get up, stretch, do what you gotta do in order to stay as healthy as you can be. Otherwise, don't go anywhere, because we'll be back with more Persona 5 Royal. 
See you guys in a bit. Did the ad play? Probably did, didn't it? Yeah, it played. Well, I'm back. Let's get into it. Okay, uh... button didn't do jack Oh, 
Help. Uh. Take this. Glass on this side's gotta switch too. I ain't gonna be in the same place as the other one. Can't... What do you mean? Oh. Oh? into the security room. Show me your true form. Not what I wanted to do. We can handle this and well enough. Yeah, oh no, that awareness level. Yeah, it's not good, so. Even though I didn't mean to do that. Might be better to do this anyway. One item. work. Get some out of our hair. Wow, 24 EXP. Am I dumb? Er. Of a goober. Show me your true form. There's a dangerous one in there. Hmm. This one is weak to it's weak to electricity. Let's go for that. Those paintings look a bit like Persona 3 Pro Protag, which is interesting. Retroactively seeing the possibility of, like, them hinting, hinting at the remake in this game. Me an item. Hey, an item that was worth all that talking. Uh, fine. Now's the time to retreat! Yeah, no. Like, I don't want to gain too much EXP and stuff. While allies could be missing out. I can feel it. Is this... Huh? There's a little space between that painting frame and the wall. 
I would have imagined there was a button behind the painting. Yeah. Oh, good job! You did it! Let's hurry up and get get back together with him. Sorry. Thanks. We just gotta get Mona out of there. But I don't think we'll be able to get him out unless we can turn our lasers off. There has to be a control room for them. I don't know if it's nearby, though. Just gotta trust him. Come on, let's try looking for it. I mean, it would be over there is the thing. could barely fit in here. I believe you found a path like this. Don't look back there, all right? Keep saying, I'm not gonna look. Hey, what's that? Yeah. Look, it's a security whatever on here. Maybe this will let us turn them lasers off. But, looks like we need a password to use it. Find the password, then. Uh, they probably ain't gonna just leave it lying around. What are we supposed to do? For someone who might know it? hear about those intruders? Yeah, you mean the thieves sneaking around in here? Got a call telling me to change the password just in case. And what'd you change it to? Hello. Huh? I said hello, 07734. If you read the numbers upside down, they spell out the word hello. Isn't that a little childish? Eh, it should be fine as long as nobody else finds out. It's not like anyone's eavesdropping on us. Wait, don't forget. See the code input, be sure to say hello. Hey. Did you hear that? Sure did. Come on, Joker. Let's go say hello to that terminal thing. Eh. <laughs> That's cute. What? I am super sneaky. Nobody ever sees me. Item, please. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Sooty Elder's armor. And defeating one of them. Our Sen leveled up. We got one more level to go. <laughs> anyway. Okay, let's give it a shot. Password should be 07734. Nice. These guys did it. I'm saved. Looks like it worked. Sweet. Let's go grab that stupid cat and get moving. Gigi, you could or Skull, you could stand and be nicer to Mona. Sorry. That was very much unlike me. Sheesh, weren't you the one telling us not to go around touching shit in the exhibit? Uh, that is true. I can't believe I made such a novice mistake, even for solid gold. Something was drawing me to this vase. Hmm. What do you mean? Isn't it just an ordinary gold vase? I wonder if there's something special about it. Take a closer look, just in case. What? Wait! What is this? For real? Well, I see. So that's why I was drawn to it. 
Joker, catch it! I'll explain the rest of this later. Just get after it and attack! What in the world? Regent? Did it just drop money? Damn! <laughs> Where's this being shot? Dropping bloody money. I don't think it has one. Well, don't hit it with physical attacks, be they ranged or melee. was a rare shadow that occasionally resides in pricey items. I call them treasure demons. They're great. Not only do they give you a lot of experience, they might be useful for your personas too. However, they run away very fast and tax don't deal very much damage to them. Hmm. Breakable objects may contain treasure demons, especially when the security level is high. They may also appear in normal encounters. Defeating them will earn you many experience points. If you convince one to become one of your personas, you can use it as a fusion material. However, a treasure demon cannot be used in battle. Huh, so metal slimes. <sighs> this sensation. Hey, hey, safe room. This is Let's do it. Early and often. What you know, Ryuji? Come on, man. Er, skull. Man, even Mona got caught in a basic ass trap. So we gotta be more careful here. Be okay, but well. Where you use tents and stuff. What are your thoughts? Okay, let's go. <sighs> oh, I'm not the one using. Oh, we did pick up some items, though. Atom ring, fry, small ring charged by nuclear power. Whoa! Well, that gives us a unique skill to use. Does this confuse? Skill. That'll work. What? The hell? How are we supposed to get past this huge hole in the? Calm down. Look where security guards walking.
It's a fucking painting. <laughs> oh, the fucking genius of it. I love it. <laughs> okay, so we're required to go this way. Not good. Not good. Oh. He's got our number. The situation's grim. Fire is. Oh no. I don't see a weakness. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Very not good. Conflicted with forgetfulness. Works for me. Effective allies' healing skills. Zoro. What did you think? Security levels dangerously high. Don't attack head on. Gun attack will hit its weakness. Go, go, go! Shit. <laughs> Again, give me your power. What a grouch. This is be the better man and act the opposite. For self improvement. If it pleases you. Who up pole?
leave Genbu behind for now. I'm pretty sure we could. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we could. For what I want to do. Okay. Weak to ice, good. But apparently, I just can't. I just don't have anything to heal burn immediately. Probably do, but like, <laughs> nope, we haven't been picking up stuff that cures burns. Uh oh, <sighs> well, you're on your own, skull. Goodness. Hey Arsen, you wanna do me a favor? Thank you. Another tool for our mission. We now have everything that Arsen would learn. We beat him. Alright, let's get going. On, are you gonna raise a stick? Okay, good. 
You were in a palace, but do we have to go in here? Yes. There's treasure. I can't believe I'm in here. Woof. Look, I know that there's like some good to come from that being so high, but. I'm gonna put on Ame no Uzume. I have some fucking problems if that gets up to a hundred. Hmm. Technically tough, but probably because it's level 14. Show me your true form. Or 15 even. Good read on my part. Dangerous one in there. It's time. You're mine. Woo! Looking cool, Joker. Dip into your underground group. Throw the center prior. Do it. All right. Handle this. Pass the baton and follow up. Persona. Damn, Sonic. That was enough. On being very modest. Hey, level 15. Okay. Shadow defeat. Plant bomb. Sus fuck. Except we got a Hanya mask. You think Majima's around? That doesn't seem like a security guard. What the fuck? Show me a true form. But she's still a shadow. Right, I can just do Mabu Fu fall up by Mazio. Looking cool, Joker. Yay! All out attack. We want the EXP. We're we're only at level right now. Okay. <laughs> no match for me. Intruders in the second exhibi exhibition room. Apprehend them at once. Uh. Crap. Let's get out of here fast. Which way's the exit? When I find you, I won't let you get. Show me your true form. Get him out of the way. He's frozen. Hit him hard on. Damn. Just stay there. 
can get out of here. I have to take a little bit of a risk because I don't have a curse attack. Like. Wait! Save my life! Okay. Give me your power. I am not. Thou art I. Jisa! There's a car alarm that keeps going off. I would be interested in getting that here. Let's see. 11, 8, 8, 10, 9, 8, 10, 11. Everybody's level 15. Okay. have to jump out of here. This one's weak to curse attack. Weak to psionic and curse. Unfun. You on the other hand. Go down. Great move, Joker. Do not flat. Persona! There. Nice work. Easy. All right. Jisaw, those guarding dog statues you see in various places around Japan. At least one of the variations. See it. Eed. Normally, no going through there. Yes. Oh, look! The electric thing's deactivated now. This should last. Move forward. Nice work, Joker. Maybe we can get on top of that. Seems to go elsewhere. Somewhere. Doorsy. Hmm? Oh, this feeling. Maybe there's a. Whoa! Hold on, Joker. Do you think that shiny building over there is kind of suspicious? This is amazing. Whoa! It's even godier than the rest of the museum. It looks like something important would be hidden away in there. Let's go. Go find out. A bit. Whoa. I wanted to use the safe room, damn it. But y'all won't even let me do that, huh? Fine, we go the other way. Oh. Hey. I gotta stop being spotted. Three 
You've got lucky punch. Eh, yeah, coulda crit. Oh, that one reflects fire. a nice little shortcut for us. Valuable. There we go. Joker. What do we have here? Relax, Gel. Madarame's will seeds. Do we have here a red vanity seed? Our first will seed of the palace. Let's keep okay. searching the area. The map again. Green and blue left. You raise the security level. Keep fucking up, and I want to stop doing that. Uh, 
Let you finish him off. Good stuff. They were too weak to bother with. Now let's go investigate the gaudy looking building. Sheesh. Explore a little skull. Level of security only proves there's something worth protecting up ahead. Indeed. Wait, there's something written on the sign. All personnel, this door can only be opened via the security room that lies beyond it. Please be cautious as it is impossible to open from the outside. So, it's never gonna open? How are we supposed to get past? Wait. That door. I think I've seen that pattern somewhere. Yeah, so have I. Oh, right. There's no mistaking it. That's the same door I saw earlier. Guys, let's head back. Huh? Why? I think I know what real world door that's based on. There may be another way to open it. In any case, I'll explain later. Come on, let's go. I suppose we should listen to Morgana for the time being. Let's head home for today. We can come back here once we've hatched, hatched a plan. Ah. But this one we're not going to be able to clear in one day. Ah, oh, nice. We can use this as a safe room. Central Garden. I should write something. Back to the museum entrance. Good infiltration. Let's see what sort of shenanigans I can get up to. Though, of course, the norm has to happen first, where I register and then fuse. At least we can have personas up to level 15 now. Do you have business? You'd like to read the compendium? Do you want to register it? Are you sure? You'd like to register this? All right, Time let's see what we can create. Perform fusion. Arsene Belphicor. Uh, well, I can make Jack Frost. Not terrible, but not impressive. And then it would get Mabufu. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Personas possess unique properties known as traits. Traits are capable of being inherited through fusion. Should you make use of this property, you could very well conclude with a nigh unstoppable persona. However, some special traits cannot be inherited. In any case, only one trait can be inherited during fusion. So choose carefully. Interesting. And grab Aha. And then we'll do Rakunda. You receive a fraction of power. <laughs> I see. Sorry, little dude. Ooh. 
gonna have to see it every time. Hey, look, it's Jack Frost. Before I do anything else. Finished done already. What? I got business here. Do you need something? Now. Hmm? Hey, sit right there. It seems you brought the specified persona. Huh. Fine, I'll take it. By the way, your personas are super weak. Not that I'm surprised, inmate. Though, I guess you deserve at least some praise for finishing your penal labor. You might actually complete your rehabilitation. In order to promote that process, we would like to offer you the use of a new facility. <laughs> it's rare to see you smile, Justine. You are the smiling one, Caroline. Did something happen to make you so joyful? Oh, one level from Kaguya. Yeah. Me? Hey, are you laughing at us? No. You smile. Know your place, inmate. As wardens, we simply feel satisfaction in seeing your rehabilitation progress. That is the extent of it. I find it upsetting that you would see such a matter as a source of amusement. It's like you forget where you are, inmate. You got some real guts, though. With that spirit, you should have no trouble making progress. Very well, then. If you have the will to continue your penal labor, we can grant you greater freedom within this prison. It is a deal between us, the wardens, and you, the inmate. Not like you have the right to turn it down, though. Hard work is what you're meant to do, inmate. Wait. I've made a deal with Carolyn and Justine. Did I just? I am thou. Yep. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the strength persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Strength is also not a traditional tarot card I'm familiar with. Group guillotine allows you to fuse three personas to create powerful new ones. All right. The twin wardens have granted you permission to use group guillotine. Now, it's time for your next task. Farewell. You request an Ame no Uzume with the skill Frey. Please come talk to us again once you have it. Now my question is, did they actually take my Jack Frost away? No. No, they did not. Oh, right, I can reorder skills. Frey? That might be a while. Oh. Time for some rehabilitation. You wish to perform an execution. Can you gather them up? Oh! 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 I see. Five minutes to add. Kushi Mitama, that's a level down. Wakami. pretty tough. Rank 13, magic 12. It would have Frey. Excessive power, Matador. excessive power only leads to destruction. Popatengu. 
That also makes them a Kami. Hi, Pixie! Excessive power only leads to destruction. Weak to nuke. You can't handle this. Okay. I could do this fusion. And it's about the only fusion I can do at the moment. I see. A strong persona indeed. Hmm. And I would be able to inherit the er, inherit the Aki. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Thermal conduct. This is technical damage. This is SP cost of nuke skills by half. And I will grab its power will be nothing unusual. Go ahead. <laughs> I see. Me Makami, me be your mask and howl at enemies. Bit of a physical one. I just won't be able to take Frey down. Hmm. Not bad what I got so far, though. It'll be a bit. Excessive power only, excessive power only leads to destruction. Excessive power only leads to destruction. That door would be fun. You can't handle this. Although Anubis. Yeah, if I could last that long, Anubis would be great. Okay. Finished. Done already. What? I want to go back. No slacking off. Well then. We should leave and try to try to disengage the courtyard security. Return to the real world. Infiltrate, found, infiltrate, found the central garden and then found a safe room. Well. I think we're almost halfway through. I'm starting to get a faint sense of the treasure near here. Oh. That means we're at least making some progress, right? Hey, when do you want to come in here next? Let me know when you decide. I'll be waiting. We have to figure out how to get into the room first. How are we supposed to get past that door? I don't know. I think there's some kind of off switch somewhere. Looks like this is where I come in. Mona? I have a suspicious place in mind. Remember? This shack is the basis for Madarame's palace. I actually scouted it out the last time we were here. Yeah. Oh, so this was your plan from the start? Correct. You only went scouting because you were bored. Yeah. So, where's this suspicious place? It's on the second floor. I noticed an unnaturally hefty lock on a door up there. If it's locked, that means there's something in there he doesn't want people to see. Indeed. But don't we want to be opening the door in the palace? Yes. And we're going to do that by opening the real one in front of Madarame's eyes. A great plan, but it's time for break. Get up, stretch, do what you gotta do in order to stay as healthy as you can be. Otherwise, don't go anywhere, because we'll be back with more Persona 5 Royal. I'll see you guys in a bit.
I am the back. Let us return to whatever Mona was talking about. Basically, we're going to change his cognition that the door is unopenable. In other words, when we open the one in Madarame's house, that area in his palace will open on its own? Good do. I'm not really getting it. Uh, is that gonna work? Trust me, there's no chance it won't open. I think. Morgana does that a lot. You understand, don't you, Joker? Yes. Can't hurt to try. Well, yeah, but... Why don't you trust me? It's worth a try. But even then, there's still that hefty lock we have to deal with in reality, right? Ugh, that'll be a breeze. Just give me a hairpin and I'll handle it. It will take some time, though. Doing everything by myself in front of Madarame would be impossible. If only there was someone who could distract him for a while. Huh? Oh. Oh! Man, how are we even gonna get into his house? <laughs> We'd get reported for sure if we force ourselves in. We are not seriously going to, like, make On do all the work again. What? I guess the only way is having you go nude. No, come on. What? Fancy you say that, Ryuji. I was just thinking the same thing. I will slap both of you. This isn't funny! It really isn't. We're not saying you should really get naked. It's simply the best excuse for you to enter Madarame's house without raising suspicions. So we'd like for you to play the role of decoy, Lady An. This is way too sudden! Just a bit. I mean, I don't even know where the locked door is. Don't worry, I'll accompany you. But that's still technically only me. For all intents and purposes, yes. Worst comes to worst, what if I get found out? We can run into the palace. Or something. I, what? I don't even think that's how it works. Is that really gonna work? I mean, you're not giving me much confidence in this plan. Do I have to be the bait? Unfortunately, do you have another suggestion? Hmm. Hey! Why aren't you saying anything? Cause I'm thinking! Lighten up. It ain't gonna be so bad. Ryuji, I will slap you. All you gotta do is trick Yusuke, have him take you to that room, then just open the door. You make, you make it, it sound, sound so easy. easy. Jinx, you owe me a soda. I didn't know she was going to say that. But if there's no other way, I don't... Uh, I don't... I don't have a choice. I feel like you still do. You can still say no. We're just up Shit's Creek without a paddle is all. Uh, God! Mood. Fine, I'll do it. For justice. Your sacrifice is greatly appreciated. I will buy you all the sweets you want after this. Seriously, you better pull this off. If it's for your sake, Lady On, I won't stop scratching even if all my claws were to break. I... Morgana, those grow back. We'll be counting on you, Morgana. Don't let Yusuke notice you, all right? If he tries to force my clothes off, I'll tear that house down. I mean, based? I'm really gonna lose it if we do all this and the palace door doesn't open. Got it? We're working to get dirt on that guy's crimes either way. It won't go to waste. All right, let's get down and dirty tomorrow. Ryuji, phrasing. Tomorrow? Earlier the better. Um, but uh, will Kitagawa-kun agree? More than likely. I don't know, just say something like, I really need it to be tomorrow. That should work, yeah? Ryuji, you're not wearing a cup right now, right? No, why? <laughs> okay. Leave this to me. I'll get it open right before his very eyes. Get 
in touch with Yusuke? Mm-hmm. He asked me to come by tomorrow. Aw, oh, yeah! He fell for it! Um, do I really have to do this? <laughs> I am not saying that last one. Just be careful. Yeah. Man, this is such a pain. We gotta open that door and have Matarame see it, right? Yeah, Morgana said that'll change his cognition. I don't get it. One more thing. Let us know if any weird shit goes down, and we'll be there to back you up ASAP. Hey, K, hey, got it. A palace is a reflection of how its owner views the real world. So if Matarame's cognition of reality changes, it's only natural that his palace would be affected. And all jokes aside, we really will need Lady An to strip for Yusuke. It's the only way. Ah. Uh, on, though. We're heading out. This place is closing soon. Watch TV. There's a special on the guy called Detective Prince. A catchy. <laughs> Crosswords! Crosswords! Where is art shown off and sold? A gallery? How uh, coincidental. A room or corridor where artwork is on display. The gallery is also in the area where observers group together for all sorts of events, from court to golf tournaments. It can also refer to society at large, especially in regards to the majority opinion or even a passageway made by an animal, such as the tunnel system of a mole. All right. I see. Nice. It wasn't even that fucking hard. <laughs> Granted, that's precisely how you make someone feel like a genius. Don't make it hard. Now listen up. What do you want to do? We're gonna study. Make sure you close up. Wow. So it's you. You did use this line now that I think about it. Um, hello, Yusuke. Anyhow, what's with this sudden change in attitude? What do you mean? I was contacted by Takamaki-san last night. She's accepted the nude modeling proposition. Why do you think I have anything to do with that? That's nice, of course, but I hope you aren't conspiring anything. I mean, we wouldn't dream of it. I don't understand. Nevertheless, I'll call the police if you try anything. Remember that. I remember. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. The great artist Matarame is holding an exhibition in Tsubuya right now, isn't he? I've gone to see his work before. Wow, they're truly incredible. I saw some of his interviews, too. He really is a charming fellow. It's rare to see a gentleman artist like him in a field known for having a lot of eccentric types. By the way, you seem far removed from the arts, Olafson Kuhn. Here's a question. Which famous ukiyo-e artist of the Edo period is said to have moved residents over a hundred times? Ah. Um, I don't... Well, it wouldn't be Matarame. <laughs> I have no idea. Hokusai Katsushika? This is it. Oh, not bad. I just fucking guessed, man! Seems you know a thing or two, after all. 
Okusai had a habit of moving, but he also changed his name quite a lot. At least 30 times throughout his life. His sole interest was his art, so he stayed in poverty, wore tattered clothes, and lived in squalor. Close! Shoot, teacher's glaring at us! Nice going! Thank God for multiple choice! Actually, Madarame's house was quite modest too. All master artists, past and present, always put their art above their fame. Ah. He steals his students' work and makes them suffer. He's no master. He's just an abusive old con man. Gonna get him, no matter what. Well then. Well then. Lady Ann and I will head over to Madarame's house. On, Morgana, we're counting on you. And sorry for forcing this on you, On. Me and him are banned from going there, so all we can do is wait here. No, you two have something different you'll need to do. Go on. What do you mean? You have to wait inside the palace. Once that door opens, sneak in and look for some kind of control room. Ah. We need to make sure the door can't close anymore after it's open. Oh, I get it. Okay, you can leave that to us. To think you'd really come. I assumed you were lying when you contacted me. I'm sorry it was so sudden. Oh, it's not a problem. But, as I told you yesterday, Sensei will be returning in about 20 or 30 minutes. So, um, I'm sorry if that causes some anxiety on your part. That's why I'm here today, damn it! <laughs> um, careful! What was that? No, it was nothing. By the way, have you gained some weight? My boy Yusuke is autistic as fuck, isn't he? <laughs> That's not something you ask a lady. You think oh. so? I weigh the same as always. Maybe I'm bloated today. Oh. Uh Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> On you uh You're wearing a few layers there. Sure you're not hot? Uh, like I know it's raining outside, but like girl. So then, can you um Get ready here. Yeah. Can you even move your fucking arms? How did you get all that on? Who helped you? <laughs> well, then there's no way she put all of that on by herself. I need to take my clothes off, right? Yes. Yes. Please. <laughs> he was just like, what the fuck do I do here? She's wearing so many layers. Is she really not okay with this? Or rather, is she really okay with this? She doesn't seem okay with this. I'm embarrassed. Uh, could you look the other way? <sighs> oh. Tight? No, I'm doing this for art. Don't look over here, okay? Hey, your sensei is coming back soon, right? I believe so. Hmm. Do you think we could do this somewhere else then? A little more atmosphere would be lovely. Well, this should be good enough. But wouldn't a room with a lock be a bit better? On. A lock? <laughs> Must a girl say more? On! <sighs> Even if you're faking it, girl, like... But the only one with a lock is Sensei's room. 
Then why not there? I can't intrude. Besides, I don't have the key. <sighs> he says he doesn't have the key. It's okay. That's why I'm here. I'll just use this hairpin. Takamaki-san, are you about... You were wearing all this? <laughs> he sounds impressed more than anything! <laughs> like, shit, I'd be impressed! Like, hot damn, how'd you fit in that? More importantly, weren't you hot? Don't you think it's cold today? <laughs> It is raining in your defense. <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> he sounds so baffled! The sun is starting to set. <laughs> right? That's why a change of location would be nice. I mean, I'm gonna take it all off. On. True. It might make for a better picture if I can brighten my model's mood. Uh-huh, that's right. She may even be willing to try out various expressive poses for use in a dynamic composition. Wh what kind of poses? Uh, and calm your- Lady on, you have to act. Get back in character. <clears throat> Let's go. I was just starting to get in the mood. You're losing it, girl. Wait, if you wander around, Sensei will... Oh, it's so hot. We really can't use any other room. Hey, why not this one? Please wait. I'm counting on you, Mona. We're being relied on too here, you know. Seriously, gonna be able to pull this off? We'll see. She was saying stuff like, "I'll just seduce him with my acting," but that sounds out of her league. Yeah, yeah just a bit. Plus, we ain't got one sign this place is gonna open. Isn't Matarame coming home soon? On top of that, even if Mona's able to unlock the door, how's he gonna show it to Matarame? And then even if they do show it open, any normal person would just close it right up again. Doesn't that mean we only got a few seconds to get in? Yes, that's the point. To be blunt, won't it be a miracle if this works? Let's just wait and see. Yeah. It's almost time. Please, uh, can you just wait and... Knowing that this is Matt Mercer, just listening to him act that way is like, damn, pretty good delivery. But also, like, it sounds, it sounds ridiculous. What's past here? That's... So the door Mona mentioned is up ahead. I keep telling you, you can't. You're still not done? It's hard to do this with... Cat paws! Uh, is something the matter? Oh, um... So, what is this room? It's a storage area for old paintings. Storage? Hey, Kitagawa-kun. Why don't we do it in here? I won't be embarrassed if we go somewhere nobody can find us. Only Sensei can go in there. Please. I want to be alone with you. On. Somewhere like quiet. You know, where we won't get interrupted. Wouldn't his room suffice? Is he really going to buy that terrible act? Thank you, Mona. Stay focused. Hmm? <laughs> It's just so frustrating that my feelings aren't getting through to you. Carl, also, were you were you wearing those under your skirt? Like, 
I am terrible when it comes to these sorts of. Well, never mind. Hitagawa-kun, do you not like girls like me? No, th that's not true. How is that working on him? <laughs> He's autistic. Please, we can continue this inside. Sure. I mean, no, we can't go in there. Uh, it's locked anyway, so... Fine. This is too embarrassing. I'm leaving. But... Let's just do it in here, okay? What do I do? I'm home. S sensei Yusuke? Alright, it's open. Huh? What are you doing there? It's it's not what it looks like. Uh-oh. What? Ah! Oh dear. In there. Oh, on. That was ballsy. What's happening? Hmm? Oh, I I skipped over him a bit. Hang on. Uh, nothing's happening. I wonder what's And then we have hmm? It's off. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Seriously did it! Ryuji, shut the cob, let's go! Yeah, for real. Let's go. You said it yourself, dude. We have a few seconds. Alright. Hey, let's find the control room. Quick! That's gonna close up if we dick around for too long. It's just gonna be me and you for a bit if we run into any enemies. You good? I'll be counting on you. It's somewhere. Good. Disable security system. And skull, eh? <laughs> Damn it, already? Hey, what do you want to do? <sighs> but for it to leave know if it even would leave you got the time you know you just gotta go for it real problem is the fact that we gotta handle this with just the two of us so i'll leave the timing up to you dude sorry yo you're gonna last through right now hmm? who are you i see that attire you must be the thieves who dare threaten lord Madarame. what is that's a chimera. Oh, it's a boss fight. They got past the security system? You cannot go any further. You are trespassing on Lord Matarame's territory. You guys ain't got nothing on us. I'm more scared of screwing up and having on yell at me. You you are? Persona! Well, I do have healing. Fire? You are. Rip. Sucks to be you. Skull crap. Ow. <laughs> Looks like it would hurt. Persona. Ravage trap. Let's go. Going all out. Ooh. I won't say no to five thousand yen. <sighs> it's a real tough one, it's just me and you. Be pain in the ass if we got spot again. Anyways, let's turn off that security system. Takamaki san, this is bad. Are these the lights? <gasps> no. What 
the... Isn't this Sayuri? Why does he have so many copies? Why are there so many of them? I have no idea. Get out! Sensei, what is the meaning of this? I suppose I can't keep quiet now that you've seen this. Truth be told, I'm in severe debt. I handmade these Sayuri copies and have been selling them through a special connection of mine. Why? The real Sayuri was stolen by one of my pupils long ago. I assume they begrudged my strictness. That moment was quite a shock for me. Since then, I've been mired in a terrible artist block. Seems like a sap story. Because of this distress, some of my pupils handed their ideas over to me from time to time. Uh. I knew I couldn't keep that up, so I attempted to recreate the Sayuri a number of times. However, it resulted in nothing more than replicas. That's when someone came to buy the paintings, knowing well they weren't original. It's all my fault. I couldn't pay the price of being famous. As expectations for me rose, it reached a point where I had no choice but to keep making them. I needed money to further your talents. I ask that you please forgive your cowardly teacher. Please, don't. Hold on, something doesn't add up. Yeah. If the original painting got stolen, how did you make copies of it? Right? I happened to find a finely detailed photograph of it in an art book. Bullshit. So you managed to sell copies of a photo of the original? I'm not sure how this works, but don't people who buy paintings generally have a keen eye for the fine arts? Indeed. Sounds like a lie to me. What would you know? Something just doesn't feel right. Lady On, this one seems different. The real one, the original. This, this is the real Sayuri. But you just said a moment ago that it was stolen. That's a replica. Dude, you raised this kid. No, it's nothing of the sort. This painting kept me going. It's the reason I made it this far. Sensei, don't tell me. It's fake. Yes, a counterfeit. I heard there was a counterfeit spreading around, so I bought it. So you're telling me the actual artist behind the painting bought a counterfeit? That's pushing it. Yeah. You're lying, Sensei. Please, just tell us the truth. You too? I've reported you to my private security company. What? I had it set up to deal with some problematic paparazzi, but I never thought it'd come in so handy. Please, wait. Let's talk about this. Talk all you want to the police. That includes you, Yusuke. Lady On, let's run! A cat! Where did it... There's no point. They'll be here within two minutes. Takamaki-san! Yeah, let's go! Well, let's hurry up and get that shit shut off! Like a security room. Hey, look. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the room. So, which one's for the security? Oh, the one that's on. Disengaging security protocol. All right. Sweet. That lasers in the courtyard should be off for good. Well, that's mission complete. Come on, let's get out of here. Who's there? Whoa. Crap! Let's make a run for it! Alright! Looks like the security's totally off! 
Get back and meet up with the others! I hope those two managed to get away. No! Uh, well, I guess they did. Sorry, Yusuke. Did you hit your shin or something? I thought I was gonna die. Uh, hey, will you let go already? <laughs> Come on! He just caught you. Oh no! I didn't mean to push him so hard. Are you okay? Wake up! Who are you all? Oh, uh, hi. My name's Joker. That's Skull. You are now looking at Panther, and that's Mona. Kamaki-san. We call her Panther here. That means you two are... I don't recall ever seeing this cat costume before, though. <laughs> what is this place? It's a long story. We are inside Madarame's heart. Inside Sensei's heart? I'm sorry, Takamaki-san, but are you sure you're feeling okay? Yes. Trust me, it's hard to get adapted to it. She ain't lying. This is what that bastard truly feels. He's nothing but a greed-filled money grubber. Enough of this rubbish! Kitagawa-kun, didn't it cross your mind that something wasn't right about Madarame? <sighs> That's... Uh... Also, in, in An's defense, he literally threw you under the bus like... 30 seconds ago. You may not want to believe it, but this is another reality as viewed through Madarame's eyes. This is his true nature. This repulsive world? Just who are all of you? I guess you could say we're a group that changes the hearts of Ron Crooks. If everything you say is true, then the sensei I know doesn't exist. Well, it would be more accurate to say that it's his mask. You gotta snap out of it. Still, he has kept me safe these past ten years. My gratitude for that won't just disappear. That's frankly understandable, man. You're gonna forgive him? At this rate, you'll... Forgive, but do not forget. <sighs> you scared? You, you good? Are you okay? I'm trying to be rational about this, but my emotions are overwhelming me. Oh, in here of all places, that's not good. Sorry, but we don't have time to dawdle. The security level's gone through the roof. We need to get out of here at once. <sighs> here, lean on my shoulder. No, it's all right. You sure? We need to get out of here. That said, we have an amateur with us now. Let's try to avoid fighting as much as possible. Easier said than done. So this is inside of Sensei's heart? A vain museum such as this? This painting. Do you recognize it? We were thinking these might be his past pupils or something. But why are there paintings of them here? Technically, those aren't actually paintings. They're the pupils themselves. Madarame saw them as objects, so that's what they are in here. Oh, and uh, we found yours too. <sighs> we'll talk more later. For now, let's get out of here. Dude, th this would be traumatizing to a lot of folks. Ah, shit. It is right there. <laughs> Who is it? 
What the? <laughs> Talk about bullshit clothes. First a king, now some kind of shogun. Welcome to the museum of the master artist, Madarame. Huh? Sensei? Is that you? Eh! Yes and no. Yes in that it's his heart. No in that it's not actually him. That attire. Disgusting. This... This is all one big lie, isn't it? My usual ragged attire is nothing but an act. Besides a famous person living in that shack, I have another home. Under a mistress's name, of course. Bro! Some setup you've got! <laughs> Don't make me laugh. If the Sayuri was stolen, why was it in the storage room? And if you had the real one, why make copies? If it's really you, Sensei, please tell me. I mean, you might get your answers, but you're probably not gonna like what you hear. Foolish child, you still don't see? Painting being stolen was just a false rumor I spread. It was all a perfectly calculated staging. Yeah, so when Ryuji called him a shogun, seeing his makeup, I'm like, no, he's not a shogun. He doesn't see himself as, like, royalty. He sees himself as an actor. A kabuki. What do you mean? Let me see. How does this sound? I found the real painting, but it can't go public. You can have it for a special price, though. Ha <laughs> ha! How's that for preferential treatment? Art snobs will eat it up and pay good cash at that. No. The value of art is purely illusion. What's the matter with providing that illusion to eager customers? I mean... If you want to talk semantics in a, like a capitalistic... I keep, I keep saying capitalistic. But if you want to talk semantics in... You know, a myriad of situations... The value of art is technically an illusion. Because it can't be valued monetarily. That said, if you're gonna make somebody work on art, you should pay them for their efforts. Or at least provide them some equivalency for their work. The work is valuable. The art itself is a luxury. And is something that deserves to be paid for. Though I doubt a brand like you would ever come up with such a brilliant scheme. You keep going on and on about money this, money that. No wonder you ended up with this disgusting museum. Thank you, Ryuji. You're supposed to be an artist, right? Aren't you ashamed of plagiarizing other people's work? <laughs> Hold on! He is an artist! A con artist! Art is nothing but a tool. A tool to gain money and fame! Ew! Ew, 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 ew! Ew, fuck that noise! You helped me greatly as well, Yusuke. God, it pisses me off. That's your teacher. But what about the people who believe in you? Who think you're a master artist? I'll tell you this alone, Yusuke. If you wish to succeed in this world, I'd advise you don't rise against me. Do you believe anyone could find success with my objection holding them down? <laughs> to think I was under the care of this wretched man. You thought I took you in out of the goodness in my heart? Plucking talented yet troubled artists allows me to find promising pupils and take their ideas. After all, it's much easier to steal the futures of children who can't fight back. Bro! I can't believe this. Livestock are killed for their hide and meat. This is no different, you fool. 
Bro! But I tire of this little chat. It's time that I... You are unforgivable. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. I won't forgive you! So, you repay my keeping you around for all these years with ingratitude? You damn brat! Then, dispose of these thieves! Get back! How amusing. Huh? <laughs> it seems the truth is stranger than fiction, huh? I think he lost it. I wanted to believe it wasn't true. I had clouded my vision for so long. My eyes were truly blind. Blind and unable to see the true self behind this one horrible man. Have you finally come to your senses? <laughs> How foolishly you averted your eyes for the truth. A deplorable imitation indeed. Best you part from that aspect of yourself. Let us now forge a contract. <laughs> I am thou. Thou art I. The world is filled with both beauty no. and vice. It is time you teach people which is which. Very well. Ow! Come. Go him on! A breathtaking sight. Imitations they may be, but together they make a fine spectacle. Though the flowers of evil blossom, be it known, abominations are fated to perish! Whoa, this is impressive! Ooh. Who do you think you are? The price for your insolence will be dead! Where are my guards? Kill them all! The children who adored you as father. The prospects of your pupils. How many did you trample upon? How many dreams did you exchange for riches? No matter what it takes, I will bring you to justice! Let's see what you're made of. Very well, bring it on! Oh boy. You are in the presence of Lord Marwame. On your knees, intruders. No thanks. I learned much from you, Marwame. In order to see authenticity, one must be dispassionately realistic. With Goemon by my side, I can now ascertain your true self without any reservations. <laughs> no. This is Persona. We have Fufu, Giant Slice, and Sukukaja. Powers up after a baton pass. Yeah, we know the Kulpa Tengu are weak to this. Maybe we'll be lucky and they're weak to lightning. Damn. Resistant to fire. Badly not weak to guns. Evaded by a scoundrel eyes. Oh. Yeah, Let's go. So our man Goemon, and as a result, Yusuke, is more of a rogue. 
Interesting. I'll take it from here. Okay. You're mine. I don't see weakness. Yeah, I'm betting he's weak to wind. We don't have that set up. Of weak to wind. <laughs> he reflects it. Ow. <laughs> you win some and you lose some. What do you have as a gun? Dude just has an assault rifle. Where the fuck did you get that? Sorry, did I see you were a rogue? Nah. You're <laughs> fucking samurai. Level 16, and Ame no Uzume is level 15. New skill Nocturnal Flash. Medium chance to dizzy all foes. Hey, Bisuti would be next. <sighs> EN10, luck 13. Uh oh. You say you've just thrown your bright future down the drain. I'll destroy every chance you've ever had of becoming an artist. Majorami. You'll forever rue the day you dared defy me. Get back here. Oh, hey! Kitagawa-kun! Why can't I move? Listen, you're totally drained. You can't do much even if you wanted to. What a disgrace I am. Hey, don't beat yourself up over it. You'll get another chance. Come on, just listen to her. You've known for quite some time, haven't you? I'm no fool. Strange people have been coming by for years. And the plagiarism was an everyday affair. But who would want to admit that the man they owed their life to was doing such terrible things? Why didn't you leave, Kitagawa-kun? Well, he is the one who painted the Sayori. On top of that, I owe him a great debt. Yeah, he, he basically saved your life. In a way. And if he did truly paint the original Sayuri, he was an artist at one point. Why he gave it all up is another. You mean because he raised you? I never knew my father. I was told my mother raised me by herself, but... She died in an accident when I was three. That's when Sensei took me in. I heard he helped my mother while she was still alive. Heard? To be honest, I don't remember much about my mother either. I did everything I could for Sensei. I thought of him as a father. But he changed. To think he would treat the Sayori the very foundation of his art like that. A lot's happened to you, huh? When you had mentioned plagiarism, deep down, I knew you were right. Yeah. As, as a bit of a writing trope. Based on the stereotype that people who are confronted with the truth, even though they deny it, they tend to get angry about it. And they tend to respond angrily about it. That's why I so vehemently denied you. I was simply running from the truth. I'm sorry. Hey! I get it! 
I'm grateful for the chance to face what I've been denying all this time. You're way too serious, man. That's why you're always getting stuck in your own head. Look at me. I just go with the flow. Yeah, but you got like two brain cells and both of them are focused on like this whole skull persona thing. For real. <laughs> Thank you, An. What are you going to do now? I don't know. Yeah, like, he kind of threw you under the bus calling the security company and everything. So, like, do you even have a home? We can't help the fact that Madarame has gone and changed. But we can change his heart. We'll make him pay for his crimes. That reminds me. You mentioned something about that change of heart earlier. Have you heard the rumors? The ones about the phantom thieves that steal hearts? Don't tell me. Yeah, that's us. Oh, we need the mosey. Oh, crap. We'll talk later. We need to scram. When did my clothes change? You now just realized this? You just noticed that now? Thank you, Ryuji. Save it for after. Let's go. Yeah. I see. And because of that, this PE teacher's had a change of heart. Yep. Phantom thieves who steal hearts. To think they truly exist. Welcome to the club. I mean, if you want. <laughs> Is it hard to believe? No, I believe you. There's no need for common sense to blind me after seeing a world like that. Yeah, no kidding. So. Your plan with Madarame, Sensei, with Madarame, is to force a change of heart, correct? Let me join, as a member of the Phantom Thieves. Hey, I'm down for it. Had I faced reality sooner, this may have been avoided. I must put an end to this, for the sake of the others whose futures as artists were robbed as well. That is the most civil thing I can do for the man who was... In some manner, my father. Civil, huh? Sounds fine to me. We're gonna deal with Madarame anyways. He may have a mental shutdown if we screw up. We have ways to prevent that, but they aren't fail-safe. Remember how we mentioned this on our way here? Madarame is a man who has the art world under his thumb. He has connections to many organizations. If someone like me raises my voice, it'll only be snubbed out. We have no option but this. Kitagawa-kun. It's a deal then. We have a new member in the Phantom Thieves now. Welcome to Strike Heart. I hope we get along, Yusuke. You better not slow us down. Oh, he won't. I'll do my best. Welcome aboard. Thank you. I ask that you coach me well. And do. Oh, that reminds me. I wonder what's going on with the real Madarame. Yeah, that 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 seemed kind of... Y'all made a very dynamic entrance. Yusuke and I were in a pretty tight situation. Actually, I contacted him before we came here. He believes that I continued pursuing Takamaki-san. And just as you all explained, it appears he knows nothing about his shadow. Huh. What did he say? He was complaining to the security company how they couldn't even catch one high school girl. However, he's still furious about it, and said that he's going to take legal action against everyone. Not good for us. Shush! Talk about being completely on guard. Legal action? He's acting way too desperate. Yeah, he, he knows we know something. Maybe he still has more secrets. If he were to act, it'd be after the exhibit is over. Any scandal during the show would be his loss. Right when I think the talk about being a nude model is over, this happens? Hey, better than being a nude model. We'll have to force a change of heart before then if we're to dodge this legal action thing. Looks like our plan must be accomplished while the exhibit is still open. Easy peasy. By the way, 
What is this? Huh? A cat. <laughs> what is this? A cat? Clearly wrong. But it's talking. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. This is the first character that we've met that hasn't known Mona before they know knew Mona. So they just they heard Morgana meowing and now they hear Morgana talking. That would fuck up your head. Anyway, break time because ads are going to start here soon. Get up, stretch, do what you got to do in order to stay as healthy as you can be. Otherwise, don't go anywhere because we'll be back with a more Persona 5 Royal. I'll see you guys in a bit.
I promise, I'm here. Drinking this like the movies, and I got drinks and a snack. Hopefully you didn't want any, because I can't, you know, give it through the internet. Anyway, let's get back to it. You have a problem with that? <laughs> but it's talking. No, not really. <laughs> yeah, I'd hope not. Why not? <laughs> he's just on a different wavelength than other people. Wow, way to nicely say he's autistic. Frankly, I wouldn't be disconcerted at first that Morgana could talk. But then I definitely would be like you, Scabby, like, oh, it's, it's a talking cat. This is fine. Do you wish to draw me? You better bring out the best of me in that case. Morgana! Hmm. Uh oh. Hey, don't touch me like. I was thinking of ordering some black bean jelly. <laughs> <laughs> he is autistic. I bet he got that idea from a black cat. Oh, I didn't bring any money. We'll spot you. Never mind. He's just weird. Hey. I hope you're not up to no good. Don't forget you're still under probation. Got that? One misstep and you're finished. No, no good. No, no. What's wrong about changing the hearts of criminals? We're doing the right thing. Legal action? This ain't funny. Sounds problematic. Please hear about this. They'll totally get in touch with the school. Get expelled for sure this time. School would be the least of our worries. We'd end up arrested. Unlawful entry, defamation. Guess that means we really can't afford to F it up this time. Yeah, from here on out is what really matters. Let's do it! We just need to change his heart before he presses charges. Try to focus on that problem for now. Well... Now listen up. What do you want to do? Definitely study today. Wow. <laughs> Hell yeah. part-time job is such a drag. Your job at the beef bowl shop on Central Street, right? Oh, you said the pay was good. Plus the politician who makes speeches in front of the stations a regular there, isn't he? You can network with him if everything goes well. Way, I'm not even interested in politics. I really don't want to go. The pay is good. Running the whole place by myself just sucks. Excuse me. Job magazine said it was a fun, friendly workplace. Which another part timer would join. Mm. Guess it's tough out there. But Phantom Thieves need money too. Pick up one of those job magazines. Picking plenty of money. For now. Oh, our grades are out. How'd you do? <sighs> Damn, I'm dead. I'm above the average. The real dividing line. My allowance is safe for now. I wonder what score I got. Finished a little higher than the average score. Fair enough. I'm not fantastic in all the subjects. And in high school, I was... My best subjects were English and math. Science, I was good at. Um... I'm trying to think of what other subjects there were at the time. Kind of the big three, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Well, it should set a good example for your friends. <clears throat> that improves charm?
We need to start inviting Yusuke to the hideout meetings now. Our fight's not over until the exhibit ends. Keep your head in the game. <laughs> hey, I totally forgot, but Olaf Simkun hasn't been expelled, has he? Not so loud. He's been showing up pretty regularly, so it looks like he'll be sticking around. Let's see. Think about him having a criminal record not true then? Oh no. Too scared to ask. Anyway, it's probably best not to get too involved with him. How have you been since our last talk? Anything bothering you? Got time. I'd be happy to chat with you again after school. Yep, we're gonna go see the counselor. You're welcome. Thank you. That'd be quite helpful. I'll be waiting in the nurse's office. Hmm. I've been getting a lot of students coming in here ever since I arrived here. To be honest, it's been kind of a relief. That whole mess with Kamashita was the reason I was called here, after all. They warned me a lot of students had been impacted. I knew there would be a lot of free-floating anxiety. When I actually got to talk to everyone, I was pleasantly surprised. Most of the things on everyone's minds were college entrance exams, relationship problems. In other words, typical worries for high school students. Some did open up about deeper issues, but not the majority. Some students were still struggling with the scars from the incident, yes. But at the very least, I'm glad the ones who come to me have taken some steps towards recovery. Thanks to you, probably. Well, I can only hope so. I don't think I've done much, but if I've helped even one person, then that makes it all worth it. I know I'm not the most reliable guy, but remember, you can always talk to me too if something's bothering you. I am the counselor here, you know. Nothing else, I'm good at listening. Let's see. Having said that, it's a little awkward that I have to ask for your help, but... You remember how I asked you to help me with my research? Of course! I said you'd be helping with my research, but don't worry. It won't be anything too difficult or intensive. I just need you to listen to what I have to say and work through some questions with me. So... Let's see. Maybe I should start at the beginning. I can tell you a little bit about what the research is for. What I'm studying now is pain felt in the mind, or perhaps more fancifully, in the heart. Some specific examples include the pain of being, uh, the pain of someone saying something hurtful to you, or being separated from those you love. Maybe this would be clearer. Pain defined by abstracts like trauma or stress. Bodily, physical pain can be thought of as something necessary. An automatic response to injury, illness, whatever. Still... What about pains felt within one's heart? That pain isn't born from any tangible problem in our bodies, right? It's something strange and immaterial. I guess it goes to show there are still a lot of mysteries in our own hearts and minds. You know, I... And I... Well, I want to learn more about these internal psychological pains. Now, this is my question to you. When do you truly feel pain in your heart, Olaf Simkun? <laughs> I mean, when someone betrays me. Ah, I see. Yes, I can sympathize there. Sometimes all it takes is one betrayal for intense trust to turn into intense pain. And be rough. It doesn't feel good to struggle with pain in your heart. For example. But with that in mind, how about the pain of a broken heart then? After all, that kind of pain is only born because we fall in love, right? Do you have any thoughts on this kind of pain, Olaf Simkun? When I was in middle and high school, you know, around this age, I probably would be like, eh, that one seems necessary. In my wisdom of age, I'd say this. <laughs> Never took you for a poet, but it's a wonderful sentiment. A very positive way of looking at it. 
internal emotional pain can be difficult to deal with. Though some say it's always coupled with other feelings. And I agree, of course. I think that's a fair assessment. Though, personally speaking, I think if pain can be avoided, it should be. Maybe it shouldn't exist at all. Hmm. Wounds of the heart are much harder to detect, and in a way, they're far more complex than physical injuries. That's why I'm doing this research. To save people who are suffering from internal pain they keep holding on to. You helped me realize that purpose again. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Right. Thanks to you. I think I'll be able to better articulate my thoughts today. He's a good guy. Flow. Chance to receive the effects of charge and concentrate at the start of battle. That seems good. All right. Okay, I think that'll do for today. Oh? Hmm? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Uh. Oh! Your mental training! Oh, uh, no! I didn't forget about our promise, of course! I'll teach you tricks for mental discipline, and you help me with my research. Just like we decided, right? Now then, how about something like this today? Thanks to Maruki's mental training, my mind feels stronger. All right. Oh, and here. Never a bad time for a snack, right? Jagariko! Oh, see you. Okay, now we're ready to wrap things up. Hello? Oh, this is Maruki. Do you have time to talk right now? I'm taking a breather. Just finished my last counseling session of the day. And I thought I'd thank you once again for your help earlier. Good work over there. <laughs> Thanks. A lot of students came by to talk today. Hopefully they got something out of it. But to be honest, it's pretty tough juggling this job and my research all at the same time. Thanks again for agreeing to help me out. I might be looking to you for help more frequently from now on. A lot if you could lend a hand. All right, see you later. A fine man. Uh, you're back. Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Finally interested in coffee brewing? Help, I can teach you. Help him out. Yeah. Then you clean up. I'm going to finish preparing the curry. All right then. That's it for tomorrow's curry. Hey, how's it going? Getting any better at remembering how to handle different bean types? Now then, there are three factors that determine the flavor for a cup of coffee. Grind, heat, and time. First up is the grind. The siphons we have here, we're aiming for medium fine. Listening to me? What grind are you supposed to use? Medium fine. Right. Keep up the good work. It doesn't net much profit given the effort it takes, but hey, money is money. I'm not going to forgive you if you serve our customers crap coffee, though. Just remember that. Mm -hmm. Who could this be? Yes? Hello? <sighs> How'd you get this number? Now? Where? Fine. Sorry. Something just came up. You can keep going with the lesson some other time. Trouble? What? You worried about me? It's nothing you need to concern yourself over. Just do the dishes while I'm gone. Oh, and remember to shut off the gas before you close up shop. Nice having someone around to help at times like this. Turns out you're actually a harder worker than I thought. Keep it up. Coffee Dad's got some secrets. All right. The rest is on you. Okay, I'm off. Don't need all our food while I'm gone. Hey, 
hey, you get everything closed up? Sorry about earlier. Had to take care of some business. But don't worry, I'll put you to work. We've got lots of time on our hands. Hey, thank you in advance. Huh? <laughs> You're awfully obedient today. Well, as long as you help out and do your part, I'll treat you fairly. Well, just make sure you turn off the stove before you head to bed. Saturday. Hey! Hey, got a seat! Time to read. Oh, I still have to return this fucking book. Social norms can be broadly divided into 256 types. Doesn't make any sense to me. I don't even understand what they're saying. Hey, hey. How far did you get? Was an efficient use of my time. study corner in the library? I always end up goofing off at home and not many people know of it. Isn't the environment kind of a problem? You heard the rumors about the transfer student? Oh, him? Yeah, it used to be all anyone ever talked about. But you remember Mr. Kamashita's big apology? Transfer student is kind of old news now. My recent test scores haven't been so hot. I don't shape up, my allowance could be in danger. It's possible to apply math even to an abstract concept like beauty. The golden ratio used in the Mona Lisa and the Parth Parthenon is a famous example. But a different ratio has been used in Japanese art and architecture since ancient times. I'm sure you've all heard of the silver ratio. Now then, Olaf Semson, take a look at this. Give me an answer. The golden ratio is 1 to 1.618. But do you know the silver ratio? Ah. Uh... Um, not off the top of my head, I don't. Makes sense to me if it's close to. Um, is it one to one point seven three two? Because I, I feel like Japanese architecture is always broader seeming than a lot of Western architecture, but not like this broad. Well, fuck. Now I'm second guessing myself. Go with my gut. Nope. No. No, that's incorrect. The answer is 1 to 1.413. 4. Damn it. <laughs> Didn't want to. I don't want to Google this stuff. You can see it's closer to a square than the golden ratio, right? Well, yes, but you don't assume that, because someone could draw that shittily. One theory says it's because Asians have rounder faces than Westerners, so they prefer a similar shape. This ratio is used in things like. Yuki, yuki oe paintings and the pagodas uh, at Horyuji Temple. One you should all be familiar with is B4 size paper. Those proportions are the silver ratio. Oh, yeah, because that's like 8.5 by 11, isn't it? Here we can get right. Duh, I mean, he's, he's looking at us. Oh yeah, I hear the mascots that are seen as cute have faces that are close to this ratio. In other words, if you use this ratio, you can make cute things. 
it is true that mascots tend to have roundish faces. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? I'll count you and gather everyone. What are we doing about the palace? We're not going in today? Couldn't hurt to find the treasure sooner rather than later, yeah? Meet up. You got it. I'm heading over now. Probably good to do this and also bring in our new thief sure to the fold. Explain the basics to you, don't we? Oh, you mean about the metaverse and the nav? Yeah, I guess that stuff is pretty important. Please elaborate. Okay, let's start from the beginning. First, the metaverse spots where we act as the phantom thieves are called palaces. Palaces are worlds that take form from someone's cognition. A materialization of their reality. You are throwing a lot of jargon at them. So do we each hold palaces within ourselves as well? I, I I didn't think to ask that question. <laughs> huh. Well, I technically I don't think so. Morgana help me. No, not just anyone will have one. It's primarily those with strong distorted desires. Right. Right. They basically got to be criminals. Real bastards like Kamoshida or Matarame. He doesn't know who Kamashi. Well, okay, he might know who Kamashita is. On the other hand, palaces can't exist within Persona users. It's just impossible for them to form. Wait, what? It is? Basically, your Persona is the true feelings of your heart, which arise from accepting your inner shadow. Then, since you have full control over your emotions, there's no way your desires can get distorted. Huh. So that's how it works. Obviously, I, I knew that. Lady, gent, don't fucking fake it. Oh yeah, and we use the Metaverse Nav app on our phones to get into that world. It's actually pretty simple. Just say a person's name, location, and distortion, then you're in. Location? Uh, so like, Matarame's would be Shaq. Then his distortion is that he thinks it's a museum. How do you know what their palace is going to look like if you've never set foot in it before? Good question. Bit of a crapshoot. That part's kind of like a quiz or something. It'll probably get pretty tricky from here on out, too. Hmm. I feel as though I have a good grasp on the basic concepts. I mean, admittedly. You are an artist, so that checks. If anything arises which I fail to understand, I'll rely on those more experienced than myself. I like this kid. Yeah, I got you covered, newbie. Fuji! You better! Uh, you should probably ask Morgana if you need anything. Nana! Nah. Ryuji! Ryuji offered! Thinking back to Matarame, though, I can't believe he'd consider pressing charges. Yes, I've never seen him show such anger before. He is most likely quite serious about that. What should we do? There's no way we'll be able to win if that happens. He likely won't act on that threat until the final day of the exhibit, June 5th. Simply put, I doubt he would be so foolish as to taint his name with a trial during his exhibition. Yeah, that'd be a bit much. All right, so we just gotta steal Madarame's heart by then? There's no way we're gonna let him press charges. We'll show people who he really is. Well. I'll just add this. We should save early and often first. Let's go in. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah, we haven't decided on the new recruit's code name yet. We haven't. It has to be Kitsune. You know, with that Kitsune mask and everything. 
Hell yeah! That really leaves an impression. Are you talking about me? Yes. Unfortunately. What do you want your name over here to be? I'd say Da Vinci. Oh! -ho! Nope. Hey, fuck off! Well, you've got that mask like On said, and there's that weird tail. I like Da Vinci. We're calling Mona Mona. All right, you're Abu Rage. Why? <laughs> Very well. He's agreed to it. He's autistic. It's decided then. Abu Rage. Nuh uh, not happening. Do you have any ideas, Joker? Fox. Oh, just keep it literal, huh? Sounds good to me. What do you think, Fox? It's acceptable. It's set then. Let's go. By the way. We should have Joker decide who our starting lineup is from here on out. Starting lineup? You mean the ones who'll be going in first? Yeah. Now that Fox has joined us, it'll be harder to move around as a group. We'll stand out more, too. Considering how we've operated to this point, we should have four starters. Anyone else can be backup. And I guess we always gotta have our leader with us, right? Yeah. Which, personally? I always feel like it's a bit of a, rest a weird restriction in RPGs from a design aspect. I get why, but at the same time, I wish there was more freedom so you can just kick your leader out and let somebody else take lead. But, you know. Exactly. That's why we'll have Joker choose the remaining three. And what should the backup do? Would it be best for them to stay outside of the palace? No, they should come in as well but maintain a reasonable distance from the main group. In other words, the starting lineup is the first wave of our infiltration force. Well, we'll leave the team composition to you, Joker. To change party members, speak with your teammates at the palace entrance. At the pal- uh, there. Speak with your teammates at the palace entrance. You can also press X and select stats from the menu. Joker. I'm ready whenever you need me. Pull me in, coach. Yeah, let's bring in muscle. Because I can handle healing. Hey. You want me to fight? Thanks. Yeah, let's do this. Let's bring in our new our new thief, Fox. May I get a word in? Please allow me to join the Vanguard, Joker. I will not disappoint you, I promise. God, it's gonna be so hard to imitate Matt. I'll be counting on you. Sorry to cause you trouble. Thank you. We'll change Madarame's heart, no matter what. Honestly, partly because Matt has a very like I want to say unique. That feels wrong to say. Let's do it. Distinct. I will say distinct way. Matt has a very distinct way of speaking. And that's probably because he's actually like trained as a voice actor. What am I doing? And like, you can, you can tell when it's Matt Mercer, but you can also tell when it's Matt Mercer putting on a character. So me trying to do Matt Mercer, who is doing a character, is tricky in my mind. Cause it's like, yeah, fuck. I gotta, I gotta be Matt Mercer and also be this character. I, I think it's cause I relate it to Matt Mercer. I add that extra level of difficulty. I should just be Yusuke. Well, Fox. In this instance. Same difference, really. Oh, to the central garden. Fingers crossed the security right. stay shut down. Now, where do you want to go from here? Let's go. Hey, 
Hey, hey! Sweet! Security's still down. Thanks to all my hard work. What do you mean by that? Don't worry about it. Come on, let's keep going. Also, thought occurred to me. Yusuke is not geared up. It's Katana. <laughs> Replica Assault Rifle! Dress shirt. Yeah, I'm going to lean into the evasiveness that he's got going. Silver key ring. I'll give him the breeze ring for right now. So that way we don't feel Mona's absence. Also, point of order. Oh, interesting. He joins us at level 15. I wonder if that's scaled up or down, depending on the party's overall level. His persona. Goemon. Chikawa Goemon was a thief who stole from the rich and gave to the poor in Japan during the Azuchi Momoyama period. Kabuki scene of him sitting on the gate of, Na of Nanzenji is famous. Indeed. He learns his next ability at level 18. That's a vicious strike. Interesting. Yeah, it's Morgana that's balanced. Yuji that's very strength focused. And yeah, kind of as I summarized. He's strength leaning, but he has a high magic stat. So he's like a rogue. Whereas On is just bounced across the board, but has a magic focus, so is. Also kind of like a rogue, if you think about it. But he needs 5,000 EXP to the next level. But either way, let's get going. Really? Doink. Shadow spotted. It's powerful, so let's be cautious. I do like. Sure. Oh, do you think that could be another pamphlet? Let's take it with this, Joker. Says, says Mona from like 10 feet back. Hey, ain't this pamphlet different from the one we got before? You're right. Says the second of the two. Mona, you ain't even in this scene. Yes. Oh, and it has the rest of the map. Now we can use it to figure out where the treasure is, right? I suspect it's in the innermost point of this place. If that's the case, the most suspicious spot seems to be this main hall here. It looks like. Hmm. We'll need to pass through the lounge and the gallery in order to reach it. Deeper in we go, the tighter security is going to be. We need to advance carefully, okay? Site's totally guarded too. I'm curious about the painting further in. It feels as though I could walk right into them. Interesting observation. Like legit. Treasure chest. Come, let's open it. <laughs> Revival bead. Useful. We actually are going to need a reliable source of revival items now that I think about it. Oh! It's sealed, okay. Oh. Jo 
Joker. Feels like I might touch them accidentally. Let's be careful as we go through here, okay? Show me your true form. Hey! Right. The first move is off. It's a corpse bird. That's a bird? Oh, it is a bird. A featherless one. I'm not done. What are you thinking? Fire? That's unfortunate. I am thou. Nice. Let's go. Going on strike. Serves you right. Hmm. We'll get another opportunity. It was fun while it lasted. Goodbye. Very artistic. The dude is jiving and grooving. Okay. I could have handled that myself. I'll have to turn off security before we can get to those. I have something. Damn, hoping for an ambush. It's Jack Frost. We'll have to figure out how to turn off security if we want those chests. Treasure chest spotted. Must be something good inside. Bark bark. I can see it. Does not look like he's going to move for us. Hey, there's a strong looking one over there. We've seen that kind before. His stance conveys the notion that he is no ordinary foe. I think the control room's behind him. He's probably guarding it to make sure nobody gets too close. More than likely. However, we'll need to disarm the security if we want to ensure we have a safe infiltration route. Forcing our way through seems to be our only option. Hey, are you ready to do this? Ready as I will be. Hmm. Who are you? How did you get in here? I gotta answer you. Step aside. You expect me to move just because you tell me to? I'm afraid you're sorely mistaken. Uh oh. Shadow's weakness is ice. And light. I don't see a weakness. Oh god. Go down. Ooh, looking cool, Joker. Works to our advantage, I suppose. Yours. Yes. Not over yet. I am thou. Go on. Oh, nice one, Fox. If we weak to lightning. Sadly not. Uh-oh. 
my other self. Useless. Immune to wind. Persona! Wind won't work here. Not physical, eh? Okay, could be curse, light, spirit, or nuke. Well, psionic, I suppose. Almost down. I am thou. Going on strike. Ah, nice one, Fox. Yours not right. short. Pass the baton and follow up. Persona. There. And he's dead. At least may as well be. Persona! Not that. Let's go. All right. We go or what? Get ready. This is my other self. Go in, Lord. Good stuff. Wait, what? Me like a glove. Okay, party members not participating will get EXP. Whoa, a new move. Got Dikaja. Good. Get. Medea won. Whew, that guy was tough. I guess that's just par for the course in a palace. It really was on a totally different level from the other enemies, though. Only a little. Hmm. He dropped some sort of card. A skill card is a special type of item used to teach one of your personas a particular skill. These cards can only be used on personas Matthias currently has in his stock. The card will be consumed upon you, so employ them wisely. What's this for? I've never seen anything like it. Ain't it just some kind of loot? Come on, let's get back to exploring. A treasure chest spotted. Oh! I did make two lockpicks. <laughs> oh. Got our hands on quite the weapon. I'd love to get a feel for it. Go ahead. Okay. This fits me perfectly. What an excellent find. I can feel it. Ah. Indeed. It appears this is the control room for the security. Sweet! Let's turn that shit off already! Please input the password. Uh, Ugh, another one? Just have to look for someone else who might know it. I hear the intruders already got past the central garden security. Yeah, I just got a call earlier to change the password here too. What two? Better not be simple. Well, I was having some trouble coming up with a good one. For now, I set it to the numbers for Lord Matarame's feet. Lord Matarame's feet? What are you talking about? Let's get back on duty. There's a chance the intruders are nearby. Hmm. Matarame's feet? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Maybe his shoe size? Yo, Fox! You know that bastard shoe size? I don't know. Fortunately, I have never heard him mention it. 
sure that is a proper password. Rame's feet. What do you think that could mean? if there ever was one. I suppose it'll let me guess. of the man. Something written here. Here we praise our most holy lord, Ichiryusai Matarame, the one ray of hope in this depraved world. He stands alone as his two adept hands paint into the future. None shall ever match his excellence. <laughs> really puffing his chest out right here, ain't he? Hold on a moment. Could this be the spot of Madarame's feet that the security guard mentioned? Is that his feet? Oh, right! Isn't the password supposed to be a number of some kind? Hmm. I believe there are numbers here, though. One ray of hope stands alone which, with two adept hands. None shall match him. That means... The password is... One, one, two, zero. Nice. Yeah, that must be it. Sweet! Let's head back to shut down security. We'll evade some fights if we can. if I can't see the infrared lasers or if I'm just being dumb. That's <laughs> Steve's eye. Okay. Yes. Alright, let's try that password he found. Password accepted. Disengaging security protocol. Hey, hey. Whoa. That opened all sorts of stuff. Definitely be able to go to more places now. Come on, let's get moving. the lasers, unfortunately. If I want those treasures, I will have to go back the long way. Don't you, though? Dizzy Vile. Oh. Open the chest. Chain. <laughs> I couldn't evade him. Let's go. Be careful. 
With ice and shield flow, attack up. Shadow's weaknesses. Ice. Let's go. Go down. Took one out. All right. Huh. Kind of killed the one that I could recruit, though, which is a bit of a problem. Yeah, no, sadly, I can't, you know, Night Chimera. Okay. <laughs> no match for me. No match for us, you mean? All right. Take a break here, cause ads are about to play. Get up, stretch. Do what you gotta do in order to stay as healthy as you can be. Otherwise, don't go anywhere, because we'll be back with a more Persona 5 Royal. I'll see you guys in a bit.
guess. What's up? I'm just in the menu. I made 44,000 yen in this dungeon. Fucking con artists, man. They have all the money. This is amazing. What a giant painting. <laughs> Indeed. There's such a bizarre texture as well. It's as though I could simply slip inside. What the? You okay? Um... My hand! It actually entered the painting! So we can go inside of it? See any other path for us to take? Let's give it a try! Yeah, cause that's lasered up. Well... You trample on my tranquil bamboo garden with those grimy feet! You shall not live alive! What the heck was that? Probably just hearing Matarame's thoughts. There's no need to panic. <sighs> Matarame. Oh. oh, we're in another painting. So this space is not merely one, but a multitude of paintings. Hmm. Tell me they're all connected? Which one goes where? That, we will have to continue walking to find Joker. out. Hey, Joker! Can't you spot the connection with your skills? Yeah. How foolish. So he dares call us thieves who dirty his heart. One who sullied the very nature of art itself has no right to accuse us of such a thing. Save your emotions for later. We have to keep moving. Don't go staring at my butt. Should have known. What are you talking about? Yo, stay alone. No, <laughs> oh, yeah, on on has the right idea. Maybe, maybe sneak around corners. Hmm? Oh, this feeling. Maybe there's a safe room. There is. Hello. I will be the one to end it. All right, back to work.
About our level. Show me your true form. Hey, Jack Frost and... Oh, I know you. I don't know you. Never mind. Persona! There! Cool! Looking cool, Joker! Who do you think it's weak to? I'm gonna bet ice. Not over yet. I am thou. Nope. Let's do this! Fire? Blocked. This is my other self. Go in more. Wind! Lend me your power. Poor thing, it looks scared to death. Aww. Let you come all the way here. For a treasure hunt. Not bad goal. I mean... That's a difficult topic. See that enemy again. Come on. Huh. More big paintings just like the ones we saw before. Something off about these, though. Look, there are even two frames with no paintings at all. Why don't we go take a closer look? I can feel it. This probably leads nowhere, but not opening. Guess we gotta find another way. Always gotta check. Just like the last time, you know, with the secret passage inside and everything. Hmm. Looks like these ones are all completely different. What to do? Are even frames with no paintings at all? That is strange. I have a choice. Let's go, Joker. This world is a desert filled with laymen who cannot understand true beauty. The slow drain of my skill is inevitable when I'm surrounded by such mediocrity. <sighs> so you're just gonna blame the world for his decline in skill? Huh. That bastard never had any real talent to begin with. The gods, even in their dormancy, are worshipped constantly. People gather under shrine gates. Offer their money and return home fully satisfied. Art is practically the same. In the end, it is all just a matter of imagination. Huh? Even if that's true, that doesn't give you the right to, to be deceiving people. Hard work is not what makes a sapling grow thick with green leaves. Too many young people do not see the true value in youth these days. What fools. Truly wrong for an expert such as myself to capitalize on that youth before it wastes away? What the heck? It's basically saying he's jealous of young talent. Look at me. I was turned to a cat, but I'm still fighting. Age isn't a valid excuse. Whoop. Have here. Another painting! Passing through one hidden route leads to the formation of another. An elaborate ruse. It's highly likely there's a new path through the paintings. We should investigate, Joker. What? Wait! This camel! 
back at the first freaking one! So they're not connected exactly as they seem. We have to keep trying until we find the right way. Could a ship skirt across the ocean if its crew had to constantly worry about what sea life may lie below? Art, life, water, they're all identical. The one who ascends to the summit is the victor. So he's using all those pretty words, but he's basically saying people are all like stepping stones. That's just like what he did to all those kids. Crushed them for his art. What a piece of shit. Tell him, Ryuji. Er, Skull. I mean, Skull. Oh. Another painting. Ah. There are no longer any empty frames at this point. Bet there's a new path again, too. Let's get in there and check it out. <laughs> Shit. Can't get back in from here. Only one way to go, then. Damn big. Safe for us to approach it? Should be fine. Well. It's just a painting after all. I'm sure we'll be okay. Okay. Hmm. That's a valiant effort. For real? Crap Joker enemies! Be careful. There's a strong one. What should we do, Joker? Working on it. Second, I try to go over there. Show me your true form. Hey, the first move is off. Doggo and chicken. Sona. You're mine. Joker took one out. Take the corpse bird or the possessing dog ghost. Try the dog ghost again. Poor thing, it looks scared to death. What way you superior to me? I mean, youthfulness? So it wasn't this is a difficult topic. I guess I'd say humans are powerful. Inugami! Leveled up. All right. What do we got for Inugami? Bit of a fast physical attacker. Hello. I, I just don't like the like trait name foul odor. Just ugh. <laughs> even though it's pretty good. Like after baton passed. Higher chance of inflicting status ailments. Also, Null's three type of damage. Shot, fire, and curse. That's that's really powerful. Eh. Hold on with the map. Red. Been up there. Ah, we have to climb back up. Okay. 
Hold on. Mine! Ikiyoe! An object? Uh... What would it be, exactly? Okay. Lime. I have something. Oh. Oh ho! Beauty is merely a mirage. Transforming that into money is what brings about true happiness. My fine mansion. My lifestyle among the chosen few, those things are the true art. So running your atel atelier out of a shabby, run-down shack was simply an act after all. How foolish I was to have been deceived for so long. Fox. Yeah. Sweet! It's gotta be the end. How despicable. We've encountered so many of his paintings, yet not once did he mention a love for art. These are no paintings. They are just meaningless self-assertions pl assertions placed into picture frames. I'm excited to see how the change of heart alters him. Now let's hurry. Strong foe. Hear that? Oh no, there's a powerful looking shadow. Hey, hey, hey. You're Hiranya? Hiranya. The hell is that? I won't let you through. I hope there are no intruders. Please no. I can see it. Badly. I am a phantom thief and I'm good at what I do. I won't let you through. Get a cut of their jib, maybe? Make sure I'm not too far in over my head. I'll reveal your true form. Oh, okay. Just a level 20 enemy. That's not too bad. We can handle that. This is my other self. Go in on strike! Ah, nice one, Fox. Lend me your power. That one looks pretty gloomy, but don't overthink it. Just go say hi. <laughs> Aww. Oh, this one's the kid. Uh. Are, are things okay at home? A single mailman? What? Um... I mean... Dating's not important. <laughs> On Moraki! What the hell is that thing anyway? Your power's incredible, Joker. Do do do. do, 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 do. Okay. I love the victory theme. What the hell is an onmoraki? Oh, don't equip it. A monstrous, fire-spitting Japanese bird with a man's face. His 
actually a corpse that was not given a proper memorial service. They appear before monks who neglect their duties. Huh. Kind of freaky. So it's a yokai. But yeah, that's the fucking setup. Like, that's not hard. I'll reveal your true form. Strong fire nullifies curse. Weak to holy and weak to ice. Which is funny considering. I got you, let me your power. Victory is ours. Mm, nice work, team. All right. I can see it. Fine, Vashi. No Uzume. We don't have Psionic. We can't take advantage of this. Shit. Uzume is a deadly threat, especially in conjunction with that enemy that can buff it. make like counterfeit ones so what if he like probably gives those ones out for like free or some shit so when the artist determines they have a counterfeit from like a third party or whatever he can then sell them the real one for a special discount really fucked up when I think about it in those terms I'm out of combat. I don't even need to, like... Morgana can just be a healing battery. <laughs> We're gonna try to get any further, though. Gotta be careful about Yusuke. Dude is a rogue through and through. I have all the SP in the world. Oh, 
Sure enough. Skull. Get feed. How do we open this door? That's one of Matarame's will seats. And now it's one of ours. It looks like. I cannot proceed like this. I have to do something with these shutters to go in. But I can what? your grappling hook here. Wanna get Hmm. I can see it. If I were in these kids' shoes, I would, you know, try to lift the shutters first. Well, maybe that's what they did in the implication of we can't do anything with the shutters here. This just appears to be the way forward is all. Ah. Uh... it. Shit. Hell's up with this place. So much gold. Bring my eyes. For real? Marsh is especially bad here. It's barely holding up. This is not even on our map. We must ascertain the truth through our eyes alone. Reverse the twisted labyrinth. I feel like this was just like the developer's excuse. Black rock. But this was like the developer's ex excuse to make a room much like that. Um... Oh, stone able to transform to various equipment. Oh. To make a level like that one painting, I don't remember what it's called at the moment. I'll reveal your true form. Now's our chance to strike. Ice is the shadow's weak spot. Wow. Ravage them. They're all knocked down. I was in the hard hole, Joker. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'm pretty amazing. Okay. Man, that was easy. Focus. Yeah, of course it's gonna be easy when you got me around. Hello? How could this be? I've seen everything there was to see in this distorted world. But to think you would conjure up such a bizarre place. So, like, which way are we supposed to go? I didn't see any other ways forward, did you? Huh? Huh? What's this? Uh. Oh! Part of the wall was peeling, so I pulled it off! It wasn't an actual wall! Let's see. So it was camouflaged. We may have been trapped here for eternity had you not noticed that. Nice going! Oh! Nice work, Skull! You did it! Uh, sure. You know, I just got lucky, right? Listen up. There might be more walls like this up ahead. Just keep an eye out. Hey, sometimes better lucky Whoa. than dead. Whoa! Did we just warp? 
It seems even the paths beyond these apparatus uh, ap apertures are distorted in the same way as this room. An unsigned mug. Oh, good. Hey, look at this. Huh? Why is this painting here? Probably some kind of illusion. We're in a palace, after all. The painting itself might be correct, though. But, but... Say correct, but aren't there? Aren't they all counterfeit? Well, maybe the real ones here too. I wonder. Either way, the fact that this is here might mean it's connected to this space in some way. Hmm. Painting. Is it the Isa Yuri? Isn't that a fake? This is Madarame's palace. There is an obvious difference if you look closely. It shouldn't be too difficult to tell them apart. Yeah, maybe it's obvious for you. What do you think, Joker? This this one's a fake. Indeed. This is a fake. The real Sayuri is cloaked in vibrant and crimson garments. Uh, oh, right. Now that you mention it, some fools would pay a fortune and never know it. No, it was a fake. You are quite impressive, Joker. I might be one of them fools. <laughs> hey, the first step to growing is admitting you got some faults. Hey. What do you think of this painting? Is it real? I mean, it seems real to me. <laughs> that is correct. It seems you have quite the eye for detail, Joker. For real? That's amazing! Beautiful. Vibrant crimson clothes, beautiful hair, sublime balance between subject and background. It can only be an illusion, but it is without a doubt a spitting image of the true Sayuri. What the? It flew away! A uh hole? -huh. But where does this place go? Ow. <laughs> is this... Wait, are we back where we started from? Seems this is a trick after all. Not let us proceed that easily. Yes! Oh, isn't this somewhere new? Seeing past the false image has opened a path to the truth. Hm. This golden place filled with counterfeit work is a prime example of the alchemy of Madarame's brain. Here, just as in reality, he traps those who cannot see through his lying facade. You might be right. No wonder the distortion is so strong here. Hey. So, what does that mean? I think it means finding the real Sayuri should break through the distortion and open a path. So, what? We just gotta check all of them? Why would we do that? Just look for the real one. Assuming we can differentiate it. It's somewhere. Hmm. Something up at that wall? Alright, let's take a closer look. I should have known. There was a hidden room here. Soul drop, don't mind if I do. Wait, where's the... There's something in the top left? Oh yeah, the tree. Yeah, this is a fake. <laughs> that is correct. Nicely said, Joker. Yeah, so then this would be real. Hey. Well... Yes, this is the true Sayuri. It may be an illusion, but there can be no mistaking its allure. Nicely done, Joker. I am a genius. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm going to note that that one's there.
Because this, this seems like a trick that the... Hang on. Hmm. This is... Yes! Oh my god. Hey. It's real. Oh. Versions on display were fakes while the real one was hidden the whole time. Huh? Huh? Where the shit did it fly off to? That is a question, Ryuchi. Where the shit did it fly off to? Oh! Ah, God damn Damn it, what the hell's going on here? Seen all the false images. Something must have changed somewhere. Yeah, here. Yes! Oh, isn't this somewhere new? Just be careful, okay? Distortion is growing much stronger the deeper we go. More fine washi. Blank card? Does that do what I think it does? I can feel it. Isn't that Oh that is Just as I expected. Matarame. That means is the treasure behind him? It's kind of hard to tell from here. Get a closer look. I can feel it. Yeah, but like, just walk out in the middle of this. There it is. Doesn't it look a bit hazy? For the time being. Once we send the card and make Matarame aware it'll be stolen, it'll materialize like. <laughs> that is a sentence. I wonder what form it will take. Who knows? That is something like a self-portrait. Okay. The source of what distorted Matarame's reality this much. So, what now? Think it's safe to say we got a root set? Hmm. We know where the treasure is. But I'm not sure that we've necessarily secured the route. Huh? Why is that? You must be talking about the infrared lasers surrounding it. That, and the outer perimeter is swarming with guards. Forcing our way through will be difficult. So we'll need to find a way to steal it, too. <sighs> this is tougher than it was with Komoshida. We just have to make one final push. Let's check this floor. All right. Sensing something. Well, those doors must be nearby. I have Try and find it. Odd. Yeah, I will need to figure out a way to open that shutter. Hmm. Room discovered. This looks usable. I'll just add this. We will save here. Okay. <laughs> Bad sculpture. Oh, a control room! You can turn them lasers off here? Yeah, but won't he notice? Yeah. Hey, we don't need a password for this one! What do you want to do? Yeah! 
There are more places we can explore. Not the lasers. What happened? Lord Madarame can access this terminal due to maximum security protocol. Hmm. Seems disabling the infrared lasers is not within the realm of possibility for us. Hey. Down main power. What is the meaning of this? I'm not sure. Seems we've lost power. Backup generator should bring it up again in no time. Nasty surprise. Let's also be... Hey! Someone! Back on pretty damn fast. Yes. Infrared lasers remain active even during the power outage. We'll be able to turn the power off in there for a few seconds. Wait! Sick. Those guards that just ran out head this way? Uh oh. You're the ones who tampered the electricity! Crap, we got company! Let's go. But that enemy I know. It's weak to electricity. Let's go for that. Don't gotta tell me twice. Yeah, they don't seem interested in talking, so knock them out. One to three times. Oh, that costs 35 HP. Got it. Uh, that was a surprise. What we really managed to do was open the shutters. On top of that, we that only we can only turn the lights off briefly. The lasers remain unaffected. Oh well. So just gotta go see what's past those shutters. Damn. Looks like we can't get past here. Oh, I wish we could. I can feel it. No, dude, as this is probably what was necessary in order to get that other seed. Oh. Hey. Saying that, and I can see where that likely is, but uh get up there. Sorry, secretary lady. Still, you're just a shadow, so, you know. Oh, right. Yeah, uh, I don't want to deal with all of you, so fuck off. Stone. And there we go. Well, on to the next try. Nice work, team. All right. Good work. Keep it up. <laughs> Connected at all. Hmm, this sensation. I think there's a another safe room. This looks usable. Upper main hall. Okay, time to go. Interesting. Or shut. I can see it. A hanging scroll. Chest. Why don't we crack it open? Hmm. 
Show me your true form. The Night Chimera is the only highest level enemy I've seen. And go figure. Knock him out. Hey, Panther level seventeen. They were nothing. Good strategy. They sure as hell weren't. Corners more. Great move, Joker. Do not flat. Do it. Not over yet. Persona. Oh, skull. You're pathetic. Go. What the fuck, man? Sudden movements as we just suddenly move. There we go. Oh, fuck me. I don't advise fighting you. Be fine. You want to know why we'll be fine? Still fight. Let us go. I mean, I'd hope you could see it. Hmm? Huh? Some kind of security room too? No, it's most likely where all the mechanisms in the exhibit exhibition hall are controlled from. The number of hanging works, it would make sense to have a room dedicated to controlling them. Observational skills of an artist are out of this world. Yeah. Why do you think I'm calling him a rogue? Dude, no shit. I can feel it. Another unsigned mug. I think it's hilarious. Each time. Uh. Hmm. I think this moves the wires for all the hanging art? Fox's deduction was on point. Right above the treasure? Look! There aren't any lasers above it! It's quite a large hole in their security. What do we do? Jump down to retrieve it? Man. We'd be able to get out if we did. We did that though. Look up! Oh. Frame the hook. You see something earlier that looked like it could be set of be a set of controls for that crane? A 
Let's go back and check it out. First, I'm going to get distracted. Mm -hmm. So, just a window. Mm -hmm. Say this is just a window. I know better. Not just a window. Skull. Joker. Look, this is it. Joker, give it a try. Wait. Stop! Stop! They'll notice if you keep that up. Get back up there. Go, go, go. Hmm. This could be useful. Plan on descending on that hook. Spot you the moment you're lo you were lowered down? No, not necessarily. Something I can do to make sure that doesn't happen. Use the darkness? Yes. Exactly. That's our Joker. Right. We we're able to turn the lights off over in the other control room. Hold a moment. For a few seconds, though. Not be enough time to make it all the way here. Got a good idea. That's why we're going to split up the tasks and work together to pull off this heist. One person will shut the power off here, one person will lower the crane, and I'll grab the treasure. Are you sure that's gonna work? Seems like they'd realize what's going on at some point. Sometimes bold moves have the greatest payout. Unless someone has a better idea. Sounds good to me. Well said, Joker. You understand what being a fan of Thief really means. Alright, it's settled. Our infiltration route is secured. You gotta be kidding me. Now then, it's time for the calling card. Later. Later, 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 later. We have way more exploring to do. See all that red? You see that shit? Not done yet. It's somewhere. Going here. Yeah, at this point I'm snoozing ads. Oh. Earn the lockpick. A Zen outfit. Open this bad boy up. Whoa. What the? I got shadows here too? You'll see past this door. It'd be a pain to get our hands on it though. It's gonna be tough. You guys ready? Ready as I'll ever be. How did you all? Know what? Doesn't even matter. Now that you've seen this place, you won't be leaving alive. Hm. This room will only be your end. We'll be passing through. I didn't realize I was walking into a Final Fantasy XIV boss fight. Anybody got any spriggans that can drop some bomb rocks? Awakened God, that's terrifying. Nuke! How much? 
Okay. Let's do this, Joker. I mean, if there wasn't a lot left. <laughs> Oh boy, okay. Give me my cue, Joker. There we go. I apologize. Everyone, you good. Persona. You're mine. This one might be trouble. Let's break formation. What we need to do is heal up. Persona! There. Thank you. Thank you. Fortunately, wasn't nearly as much as I would have liked. Did find this. I appreciate it. Sorry. Better time for a full heal, I say. Joker's brainwashed. He can't tell who's who. I don't like that. I have something. Awaiting orders, Joker. Waiting orders, Joker. I'm brainwashed. <laughs> ah, relax, Jill. Perfect. I'll try this. Oh, I have another weakness. Oh, of course, it blocks physical. Damage is not bitch. Go down. Shit, I was weak to that one. Don't like having to use this one. Using Persona. Yeah, because that was psionic. Ugh. Okay, blocks physical attacks, not good. Having to employ some strategy. Break formation. I have Medea. But I think On does too. Nope, just break another Dia. So then Champions Cup. Done, Yusuke. Thank you. to see if I've got something that will heal everybody. I do not, it looks like. Okay. How about this? Keep Joker alive at the least. not great.
something else. Uh, we'll pop a bead. Okay. He can't tell friend from foe. Uh. Joker's down. Run, gotta hold on. I cannot think. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. Its weakness is nuclear power. And he was what? All right, time for a counterattack. Persona, go down. Oh, down. That was incredible, Joker. Do it. This the last. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Someone heal her. Persona. Oh dear. <laughs> Detox. Good. We want defense up. We're the good guys, genius. Don't be mean to Skull. Play it by ear because I'm out of status recovery items. This yet. This Ready when you are. I mean, that works. Okay. There's no revival items. Ready on your mark. This one. Yeah, these items allow me to make a little bit more mistakes. Right. I maybe should have paid more attention to that. Let's see. Hm. I'm in trouble. Oh boy, okay. 
this is very sloppy, but we're almost there. Using this. I apologize. All right. Well, there could have been worse things I did there. We got hit that time. Might be it. Fucking really? <sighs> there. Fuck you. Oh. Did not like that fight. That was really tricky for me. Mostly because it just. I guess I wasn't expecting it to be that hard. Need acquired. What is this? <laughs> so abhorrent. Call them will seeds. Need to know what they were before we picked one up with you around. As they're gonna play at this rate. I'm gonna see if I can't pick up this other will seed. No matter how I slice it, I think that one's gonna be closest. Now then, what do we do from here? Well, uh, all right. What are your thoughts? Okay, let's go. All right. We got everything we need to finish this out. I mostly just want to confirm that that's exactly what I need to do. Hop in. Through the gate. Up and out. Does remind me though. Like, were there any other places that like couldn't be explored because of the shutters? Not according to my maps. what I wanted to do, but we're here now. Seven seconds before it adds. <sighs> Gonna suck. Well, if we're not quick, I might have to end stream after ads or shortly after. Ame no Uzume leveled up. Sucks. If I didn't have Ame no Uzume in the lead, that fight probably would have been easier. We have Baisundi. It's Baisudi. Burn free shock for one ally. Divine Grace. Ooh. Okay. They were nothing. Say that. There's a strong shadow ahead. 
We should be careful. Oh, it's a nice night. Are you really gonna Ow! Fuck! Oh, double fuck. Well, ads are playing. I'm gonna get out of this fight and get in front of the wheel seat door. So, get up, stretch, do what you need to do. Otherwise, don't go anywhere. We'll wrap this up here shortly. I'll see you guys in a bit. I think you could use your grappling hook here. All right, I'm back, and I am a fool. No, this, you notice how this isn't in front of the wheel door? Because I missed this button. This button that's up here, where you can use your grappling hook. You know, 
thing that's usually used to find these doors. Because it's Persona 5 Royal. <laughs> anyway, in we go. Another will see to vanity. We got a crystal of vanity. Another will seed. And it looks like that's the last one, too. Alright, and that gives us... Crystal of Vanity, which gives us a brush of vanity. Nullifies weakness. What? Oh, that's just broken, then. <laughs> that's what that is. That's just broken! only other thing really to do would be to get out of here and weirdly the most direct path that I can think of is to just kind of blitz through here what? you can't catch me na 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 boo boo Should be the whole place explored then. All right. We've got a good gauge of how strong enemies are. Let's bounce out of here to the museum entrance. seem to be doing well, inmate. Come inside. We have an important matter to discuss regarding your rehabilitation. Alright. There you are, inmate. Our master admires the progress of your rehabilitation, and hence has given you use of a special ritual. It's the electric chair. Used to sacrifice personas and transmutate them into high-level items. Oh, so just another form of execution. Any further questions regarding this ritual can be directed toward our master himself. He's apparently gonna consider making even more rituals if your rehabilitation goes as planned. Work hard for it, inmate. You certainly see. Time for some rehabilitation. Some Itemize persona. Huh? To sacrifice personas and transmute them into high level items. You'll lose the persona, but you'll get things like useful weapons and accessories. We'll record the transmutation result of each persona in the inmate registry. Better be grateful. Time you get sacrificed, you need to use a special material with the potential for transmutation. Probably have no idea what it is, so take this one and get clued in. Better show your gratitude for it. You should be able to find them in your own reality too, not just the other one. Do your best to find them. Black Kogatana. <laughs> I can make a frost hood. Uh, well. We wanted to grab Frey for Ame no Uzume. Huh? Oh, this is what we need the blank cards for. Oh, which we have 13. Okay. 
So, this is what it will become. Go ahead. Now, be reborn. <laughs> Bit gruesome. Ah, okay. Mm. You wish to perform an execute to change your mind? Are you finished? What? I still got business here. Hang on. Okay, so I can just use skill cards here. Tools, materials. Yes. Okay. Skill slots are currently full. Please select a skill to forget. Get rid of media. What? Huh. Hmm? It would seem. <laughs> Yep, see, kind of, yeah. Very well. It is commendable that you have chosen to work so diligently towards your rehabilitation. Huh. Huh. Guess it, I guess at least you've got the will to work. Of course. Don't give me that smug attitude. This is your duty, inmate. <sighs> that said, you've completed the task surprisingly easily. Yeah. You might actually be worth our time after all. Justine, tell him his next task. It's on that list, correct? Indeed. Now then, I will assign your next task. Be aware that the tasks on this list will increase in difficulty as we go. Are you prepared? Of course. <laughs> How admirable. I feel like my bond with Caroline and Justine is growing deeper. Strength, rank up. All right. Once again, we would like to bestow a new privilege upon you. However, it is exceedingly powerful. We ask that you fulfill another task before receiving it. <laughs> Life isn't gonna just hand you success. Farewell. Now, I will assign you your next task. Now. Try to harbor a flowerose with Takuraja, Tarukaja within you. Only need speak with us once you obtain it. We will be able to tell. Hey. Got it? A flowerose with the skill Tarukaja. Well. Outfit. The inmate needs our finish. Er, wait, now. hold on. Would like to read the compendium? Do you want to register it? May as well register Are this. You sure? And you got some EXP. I don't know if I want to register this one. Rakukaja. This one's higher level. I just lose access to Frigid Bloodline is the thing. Though I can get that again. Oh, look at that. Stats are different too. I'll keep the one that's registered. It's got higher magic. Time for some rehab. Let's execute fusion. Though can't do Anubis. We had Shisa. Am I level 17? Could I do not Nekomata? Terrible, but not I could! And that would get boosted magic energy. Okay, but it's kind of more of a physical. It is a magical. What else can I get? Okay Elagor! It was definitely physical. You okay with this? Matador! He's a skeleton! And he also is magical leaning. 
pick the other ones really quick. Kopatengu. Also, oh, right. That's the one that kids me. Shikyoji. Oh, but I am level 18. Ooh. Ooh. Not terrible, but not and we had Makami before. Okay. You okay with this? I'm thinking. Grab me Matador. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Skillful combo. Potent hypnosis. Internal hypnosis. Null Dizzy, weak to lightning, nullifies wind. And then if I equip the... I grab skillful combo. And for the stuff I will take, I only have two slots. I will do Koha. Bye, Sudi. Receive a fraction of power. Go ahead. Girls, let us begin. We can skip this. I am Matador. This body of mine, born from the bloody throes of battle, shall be with you as a mask from now on. Level up. We get Ma Masai. Double shot. Magic 14, EN 11, agility 17. Lead good. Not terrible. But not impressive. Not terrible. But not oh, what? Oh. Oh. Well then. Fuck. Not terrible. Sudama. Oh. You can't handle this. Excessive power only leads to destruction. Ah, uh, so that's Monador and Inugami. This is Looks pretty tough. Kind of high in the strength department, kind of slow, but I mean, that is a fantastic wall and only weak to nuclear. So I'm going to make it still. Hence, like focus strengthens magic skill targeting one foe by 20%. After baton pass, allows your skills only available when surrounded. Increase SV skill of size skills by half. I can always pick a pinch anchor because of Arsene, so. It will receive some new power. My, my. This thing looks fucking terrifying. Strength 18, magic 16, EN 13, agility 10. This thing is insane. Oh, and it's level 20, so it's my highest level persona. Theoretically, I'm not supposed to be able to, like, you know, 
roll that. Excessive power only leaves that one. Goodness. Could do that one. You can't handle this. Not terrible, but not impressive. Let's grab another Ame no Uzume. You okay with this? Just don't want to be fusing that. Well, that's Jildy. Fifteen is the thing. Finished for you'd like to read the compendium. Read here. Shirt only. Fine level. Oh. This persona? Oh, I could technically grab a Kaguya for free. Is this what you want? Ah. And then that's Aggie Lao, which is the higher level Aggie. This persona? That's Orpheus. Oh, I can't summon another Matador this right this second. Six Holy shit! Oh, wow, okay. I've been doing this for 30 minutes. You wish to perform an exit now, choose. Well, if I can get it on my own accord. You okay with this? I don't see why I shouldn't do this. Viable triples cat. Ugh, that's disgusting. Persona born within one who had held a fate outside that retail rebellion. However, that persona still bears the power of its original owner. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. Oh. Ah. So it's basically DLC. I see. Hold up. Ultimate Persona of the Aeon Arcana. Let me be done after maxing out your social link with Marie. It's stupid good. Oh yeah, okay, it's DLC. I refuse to use it. As cool and as good as it is, I refuse to use it. It's not my style. Finished for now? Are you finished? What? Yeah, I want to go back. No slacking off. What is the matter? Something wrong. You appear to be lost in thought. Shall we be off? Excellent. Problems all around. Shall we get going? I'm going to equip Matador. Don't get me wrong, Shikyoji is tempting. Because then I'm just basically immune. There's like, look at that bullshit. <laughs> I'm only weak to nuke. May as well not be weak to anything. But it's primarily strength based is the thing. So I'd be hitting like a truck. Fast mage. Let's get out of here. What do you want to do? Return to the real world. All right, that settles it. Well, I'm still kind of worried. But we gotta do this. Fascinating. Not even begin to fathom what Madarame's treasure may be. Either way, we'll steal it for sure. Oh, and you all did great today.
We secured a route to the treasure. Yes. Yeah. Is that part's up to you, dude. Let us know when you need us. For when to send the calling card. Ah, uh, you're back. Okay. You did great today. You tired? All I have to do now is send the calling card to Matarame. All right, it's finally time. All I gotta do is decide when we're gonna do it. Shouldn't we talk to Yusuke about that first? Uh, why? I mean, Matarame was his teacher. It's not our place to be deciding something like this. Oh yeah. Let's talk to Yusuke. Yeah, this problem's bigger than just the three of us. Anyway, how about we all meet up at the hideout? Yep, sounds good. Let me know when you want to meet, and I'll tell Yusuke. Yeah, for right now, An is the only one that's got, you know, his contact details. Now listen up. What do you want to do? Well, uh, do we actually have a? I don't think we have a DVD, do we? So I've yet to return that book. Fuck. Let's go watch that, if we can. Oh. Wolf, you can't be serious. You think aliens did this? I've heard it all before, Skullzy. But just look at these bodies. They can't be from Earth. Story about an investigator who searches for the truth behind eerie supernatural incidents. Hey, hey. The atmosphere of this show is so ominous. Getting creeped out. Uh. <sighs> that was intense. I barely breathe through all that. I bet you summon a little more guts by watching this drama. Well, then. Well, starting to get late. Let's head to bed soon, okay? Let this play out, then we'll save, and then we'll call it. Damn it, I want to go home. I don't want to go to school. This sucks. I'm so tired every day. I don't want to go to work. Break's coming up. Well, then. That reminds me. Home shopping programs today. Had any side effects since then? Passed out at all? I'd like, check you out, just in case. I'll decide later. I should write something. Let's save. Practically 30 hours in. Ah! Alright. So we're ready to get the treasure out of the next palace. That's gonna be interesting. I had a raid target and everything planned out, but I doubt they're even streaming at this hour. Ah, uh, well. Folks, thank you for, very much for sticking around for however long that you did, be it a minute, ten minutes, an hour, the full, basically seven hours. Your time is one of your most valuable resources, and I appreciate you giving even a minute of it here. Give me folks to talk to, ramble at, and, you know, just generally be all like, whew, I'm tired. Um, looks like Dove is streaming, so we will rate them. They are doing their RPG shuffle time. Um... Excuse me. Ugh, I'm tired. I am, like, zoning out here. So anyway, with all of that said, the schedule for this week, I plan to stream on Tuesday, Thursday, maybe a Friday stream. Tuesday and Thursday I've got planned out for games, too. Uh, so we shall see. Anyway, folks, please remember you are always welcome here at Mana's Potion. Let me start that raid. Take your time. And I'll see you next time.